stars while opening up the bars and keeping you chained down with mortgage bills and cars, vaccines for your arms, kids sounding like supercharged, caffeinated and hate field scars and rage quick repertoires, no answers for yards, caught up in emotion that's not even yours, impossible truths like impeccable retards, lined up for your serving of gish gallop and wars, no remedy can save the lost in love with the arm, I'm tired of walking into refracted shards, poor science displayed by disgusting bards, soaked in sin with your dupe as delight and a new hand of cards, mid salon seems like for love I'm, I'm just too hard. Why you have no shame or grace It's a disdainful state I used to contemplate How to save myself from my own self-hate Wonder why I was even made With a dreadful fate Forced to try and awake with a full plate No one to help me stay awake or educate I've had to liberate and fight through hidden gates But my brother Heaven could never be late And rockets don't work in space It's all fake, the show is on Mars It's a joke, but you're too far gone It won't be long Fair base weak is strong we have our song and we march along Like streams of knowledge leading to God's holy pond And lives of truth that it's the bond That sings the song that turns mankind from the row along I said for today's Friday, August 11th episode of Authentic Intent. I'm your host, Joshua Swift. That was Issa from Flat Earth Court. Check him out. I hope you're ready for the show today. It is the Minnesota Lynx hosting the LA Sparks for regular season playoff basketball best teams in the Western Conference, WNBA, fighting for the title of fake rigged basketball. So I hope everybody's excited for that. We are also going to call a lift cab on our way to the XL Energy Center, downtown St. Paul. And we might as well order that up right now. Last time I checked, it was just a couple minutes away, so we'll see where they're at at this moment. So buckle up, everybody. We are going to be here for a couple of hours. So that means on our way home, we're going to grab a lift. That is a, what do you think? That's the Pepsi or Coke? Then Uber's the Pepsi or Coke of personal taxi cab driving and your major cities welcome to the fakery hope everybody is having a good week so far hope it's payday for you and if not well then you should be thankful you didn't get to have to pay income tax today so they can continue to fund cell phone towers that melt your mind, vaccines, chemtrails, and all the other fakery that goes on in America and on Earth. 
So, we have, quote, arrived at our location. There is a lift available in a couple minutes. Alright. Hello, everybody. How's the chat going? Thank you for hanging out this afternoon, this evening, this morning, whatever it is for you. We uh, have our starting lineup right here, Ellsworth, number 44, Homewrecker Swift in the house, about to tip off with Hunt. We got Tara Marie. Hi, Tara. Nice to meet you in the future. Woo, in the future. She's driving a Honda Civic, so she'll be here in a couple of minutes, so I'll get ready to go. Hey, Peanuts Clark, good to see you. Pharrell, check the chat. Will Bishop, yeah, everything's overrated. Fake rigged women's basketball coming up. If you play professional sports, you are not in control of the outcome. Uh, well, yeah, if you can get a wrench, email me. The link is in the description below. Fullbatteryobsessed at gmail.com. Not a whole lot, Peanuts Clark. We're ready to go downtown to the Excel Energy Center. Uh, I don't know if you got a wrench, Pharrell. Uh, I can give you one here uh, in a bit, momentarily. Loco, yep, we're ready to do it. Daniel Nicholas Cabal, thank you very much for stopping by, bringing the attention to everybody in YouTube. Uh, yeah, we're going to address chemtrails. The skies do have kind of uh, like a two or three level to them right now. We had some storms the last couple of days. Uh, unruly fellow says, what's the plan? Well, the plan is I'm going to go down to the XL Energy Center and loiter. We're going to do a little bit of loitering, a little bit of red pill action, talk to the public about various uh, discrepancies that I have with the information that has been given to us through our educational system, particularly about outer space and the fakery that NASA gives us, which is CGI. Adam, good to see you. Yeah, you know. <coughs> chemtrails. Chemtrails, chemtrails, chemtrails. Just, just more, just more to mark down for me. <clears throat> More reasons why I am enraged at this country and the situation at hand. So Tara Marie is about two minutes away. Let's get suited up. <clears throat> All right. Got our signage here. Not gonna bring too much. I have some new signage. So we'll just bring these three contributors. Got my paraphernalia for Flat Earth here. Got my keys, didn't lock my keys in the car, so we're good there. Selfie stick. This is a weapon, apparently. This gets confiscated at all your mo local events. And uh, I think I just lost a sign. Maybe flew away. No? I don't think we just got two. All right. All right. We're live again. Whoa. Surprise. All right. So, as before, 
during the pilot episode where the pilot saw the curvature. I'll put you uh, kind of away. Uh, we'll just dialogue with this young lady a little bit and see her stance on various conspiratorial concepts and ideas. Let's see where you guys are at. Foxy says, we woke up in fog, with fog in Philadelphia, since I don't believe it was fog, that means it probably was chemtrails, dispersed ground level chemtrails, yeah, probably, it's always, it's always a good and productive way to wake up. I'm so excited, going to the WNBA. Going to the WNBA game. Well, you know, some days are better than others, Foxy. I appreciate your concerns over my health, but, you know, what are you going to do? I hope so, too. Yeah, right? Yeah, well, oh, I think this is her right here. Hey, how are you? All right, I'm Joshua. Nice to meet you. We are. How's your How's your day going? Good. Good. You're telling me. I want to get away too. Oh yeah. You like traveling? I do. Yeah, really? I do like traveling. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do. Um, I partner with a travel company. You do? It makes pretty good money. Yeah, whenever you travel, you get paid commission. Oh well, that's that's a pretty good gig if you can get, right? Yeah, it's dollar for dollar at the end of the year, right? Oh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So how long have you been a Lyft driver for? Uh, off and on since last winter. Okay. Yeah. I'm self-employed, so I just... Some days I do, some days I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Mind if we, I rolled the window on the highway? Oh, oh. you want the air instead? If, if you don't mind. Yeah. Just while we're on the highway anyways. Do you think this was probably the best decade for music? Like the 90s area? Uh, um, the best decade? Yeah, what's the best decade? Uh, um, you know, gosh, I... Well, it's hard to say. I like older music. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like 60s, 70s? Um, old? I mean... Or like, like I classical think. from the 1800s? <laughs> not quite that <laughs> not, far. Not that far? I like 40s. Swing dancing is pretty fun. I haven't tried it. You haven't? They have a, a swing dancing pub downtown Minneapolis. Oh, they do? Yeah. They have like lessons and whatnot. Oh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun, yeah, actually. I would pref I prefer the 80s okay. myself. So you're the Bobby Brown guy? I, yeah, I could dig Bobby Brown, <laughs> you know, before he got involved, but yeah. <laughs> I was born in the 80s also, oh, so, okay. you know, kind of matches up. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to change the music. No, you're, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. What, uh, what do you think about the eclipse that's coming up? I guess I wasn't paying attention. No? Can I hit you from left field? But you're aware of the eclipse coming up right now, though, right? I didn't know it was coming up. Okay, yeah. On the 21st, okay. it's coming up. Yeah. 
so pretty close, yeah. yeah. What do you think about, like, that type of topic, though? Like, you know, astrology and the eclipse and all that stuff? you know, I started reading the Bible, like, 14, 15 years ago, and learned, like, the Hebrew roots of, like, of scriptures, and I kind of started looking at it in a different way, the signs and the times of, and the seasons. So that that's where I kind of stepped into wanting to learn more about it. Okay. What's going on? Astrology. And how the earth and things change, you know, or even the wars, you know, the Bible. So yeah. Like, okay, yeah, well, it's, it's gonna happen. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, <clears throat> have you looked into, like, Genesis 1 very much? Like, I mean, yeah. And what I'm do you not, think about that? I'm not as much of a scholar as some of my friends, but. <laughs> uh huh. Uh oh, homeschooler. <laughs> and the physics, really, I learned things that I didn't ever think about, you know. Um, what do you call the, um, the firmament? Oh, okay, yeah, the firmament. And, yep. and the flood. And, yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the firmament? I think it's all really cool. I mean, the fact that um, wasn't it destroyed, but before it was destroyed, we had more oxygen on the earth. That's, that's the rumor, yeah. <laughs> That is the rumor. Well, that's why they did they have giants back then. I mean, people uh, that were just taller. And that's yeah. That's that's what I hear. <laughs> yeah. Right. I what if know. um, what if the the firmament had more to do with maybe like an enclosed system? Yeah. And when it speaks in Genesis one that God put the lights in the firmament. Right means that the moon has its own light and the right. sun has its own light. Right. So the moon doesn't reflect the sun's light. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and they may or may not be like 3,000 miles away instead of the sun being 93 million miles away. What do you think about that? Um, I think I'd be open to learn more. Yeah? <laughs> good. And I'm definitely a That's great. There is uh, a community that I'm a part of. Oh. And we would call ourselves flat earthers. Okay. Are you familiar with that terminology? Uh -huh. No? Um, in Job 38.5, for example, uh -huh. uh, he's questioning Job, right? Okay. And he's kind of saying, like, were you around when I put all of this stuff together, like in Genesis 1, right? Yeah. And he talks about putting a line across the earth. Now, when you think about a line, do you typically think that that line is, like, squiggly, or is it straight? Um, like, if you were to draw a line, what do you, what would your first instinct well, be? Well, if I were to draw a line, of course, I would think point to Okay, so like the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, right? Sometimes it is. Sometimes, I yeah. I don't use the word straight unless I'm actually doing straight. Okay, so sure. Word, um, and so, like, with your own personal investigation of, like, how water works, uh -huh. um, do you think, like, a massive amount of water um, over, like, a 20 to 30 mile stretch would curve, like, over a ball? Or do you think that water, like the oceans, for example, uh, with a, a high-powered telescope or a high-powered zoom lens on a camera, you could see for maybe 60, 70 miles? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe, right? Okay. Um, there is a, a provocative video on YouTube where it is actually on the local Chicago news and a meteorologist has a picture. And that picture is of somebody from one shore of the Michigan Lake looking 
52 miles across the lake at the Chicago skyline. Wow. And with the equation that, you know, we get from mainstream science, the curvature of the is eight inches per mile squared. And so it's just under 1,800 feet. So we shouldn't actually be able to see any of the buildings from that distance away. I just, I just think that's, I think that's a pretty provocative, you know, idea if you just think that, you know, water always finds its level and it's always flat, you know, so, you, you see where I'm coming from? Yeah. Have you ever been to a WNBA game? No. No? The Lynx are playing down there right now. Oh. They're playing... Yeah, the, What's that? I, I, for the first time, kind of became open to more sports because... Oh, yeah? My son is into football now and... Um, He's into football? Yeah. Oh, okay. But um, the travel company I partnered with, I can vendor with uh, Golden Tickets so I can do any global event. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah, sporting or entertainment. Yeah, Minnesota is starting to get pretty popular with the, the sporting event. I mean, now that we have the U.S. Bank, uh-huh. you know, for the Vikings and the outdoor stadium for the Gophers. I plan on going to some Gopher games right. later this fall. Yeah. Oh, I should give you my website if you want to. Yeah, that'd be great. I got a website, too. Yeah, so we can exchange information. I'd love to go to a, a Timberwolves game later this year too. I haven't been there for a while. Like sports? Uh, I do and I don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, as you have said, you're open to learning. I have learned some uh, forthcoming information about how sports are kind of handled in America, and it's very, from what I've seen, that a lot of stuff can, you can probably think that it might be rigged, particularly oh, professional really? sports, yeah. Why? Well, uh, they put a lot of money on the field. Yeah, they do. You know, so when you have rich people putting a lot of money on the field, they don't really want to leave a lot to chance. True. You know, so... When I was in Thailand in 2015, I watched the Super Bowl at the time. It was the Seattle Seahawks versus the New England Patriots. Oh, my son loves the New England Patriots. <laughs> well, he was probably happy on that day. Well, he, he's only nine. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> but uh, Russell Wilson on third down had the best running back in the backfield at the time. Beast mode. And... He decided to throw the ball on the one yard, one yard line, and a touchdown would have given them the lead. Yeah. And this is in the fourth quarter, yeah. like at the very end of the game, like you know how movies are made. Yeah. You know, and I just kind of scratched my head. Like he had two opportunities that he could have had to give the ball to uh, Skittles, and he threw it instead. And I just kind of thought like. That is really a, a really bizarre situation that they would decide to throw the ball at the one yard line and not oh, yeah. run it. So, right, right. What was that about? I, that's what I thought. So, so with my investigation over the last couple of years about professional sports, I've kind of weaned myself away from mm-hmm. the enthusiasm that I used to have about it. Really? Yeah. yeah. So it's more treated like entertainment, I guess, for me, which is probably for most, but. People do fantasy football now, you know, they invest their own personal money, yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah, they do. So. <clears throat> but that's, I mean, you know, it's great that kids, when they're young, they get that team aspect together. You know, like working as a team, 
coming together. I agree with team mindset. I yeah. Think, I think there should be new ways to approach team mindset mm-hmm. um, rather than di- dividing in com- competition. Yeah. Um, I think there are healthier ways to approach that. Oh, yeah. I see where you're coming. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Do you work as a team at your job? <laughs> I'm self-employed. You're so self-employed, yes. okay. So yes, I, I build success <clears throat> so others become successful. Okay. Are you like a, uh, maybe kind of a life coach or? Um, no. I guess I could be. Yeah? <laughs> I, um, no, with just each <clears throat> of the businesses, one, two of them are health and wellness. And the other one is travel, where with travel, there's education because the company has a soft skills training institute where you know you can either make money by helping nonprofit organizations or individuals to build their skills and get certified. Okay. Or you can just get certified yourself. And then, so because there's 18 different ways of the travel company to get paid, so it's helpful to educate others to help them understand how they can cut costs as we all try to budget, you know, to to do better. So, um, taxes is one of them. Yeah. It's like super easy. But building our skills, you know, in college and things like that. College is a business that I am not 100% advocating. Are you, are you saying college is a business? College is our business. Oh, I think they're churches. To, that's my perspective. Though. Well, they're right. institutions. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 They are. Uh-huh. And that's part of why I was homeschooling at first. Okay. Empire rather than their own. Just preaching to the choir. <laughs> I so, hear you. You know, I I pursue, you know, education with uh-huh. passion. And I'm an educator, so I desire to um, find fun ways and accessible ways for others to know how to become successful. How has your, like, homeschooling challenged, like, the narrative of the consensus of how people are raised in America? Um, in America? Yeah. Um, I guess since we live here, right? So. Yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, um, I mean, it's, I think it's, it's grown, it's become more, I think there's more norm to it, just as there is more norm as well to natural medicine. Okay. And then there's the biblical aspect to it as well. Um, you know, teaching your children to become self-sufficient rather yeah. than moving out right at age 18 because now teamwork is within the family and they earn by what they acquire. I've lived here, I've lived in Minnesota my whole life. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, Best Buy. <laughs> you know, you don't, you wouldn't want to work there, but you'll, you're, you'll shop, you'll shop everywhere else, but, you know, I don't want to move any place like Florida or someplace nice, but I'll visit there, you know, so Minnesota is kind of, kind of like that for me where... Although, you know, I have been to Southeast Asia, I would definitely move there if given another opportunity, but I feel like my feet are starting to become cemented here in Minnesota over the last couple of years, so I feel like I found uh, my niche, if you will. What is that? So, Your career or passion? Uh, well, my passion is, like you, you know, educating and whatnot. Uh, I do, if I was to have kids, I would homeschool them also. Oh, you would? Yeah, definitely. Uh, anything that the establishment tells me to do, I usually do the opposite. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so, funny. Uh, yeah. Usually if they're pushing a narrative, I tend to investigate why they're right. pushing that narrative. Right. So, yeah. you talked about, you know... Whole, you know, kind of what you know, for lack of a better term, maybe holistic healing, um, juicing. I juice as much as I can. I drink distilled water. You know, oh, water. yeah. You want to, you want, you want to definitely 
definitely learn about the water I'm, yep. that, I'm, that I drink. Okay. What kind of water do you drink? Manufactured in Japan. Manufactured in Japan. It's the only medical grade ionized alkaline machine on the globe. Okay. So you bought the machine? I bought the for your, machine. Okay. And I sell the machine. Oh, you do? I help educate about molecular hydration. Okay. Maybe uh, we could dialogue sometime and you could advertise on my website. Definitely. Yeah, because I know in my community of Flat Earthers, there are a lot of people that are privy to what is being put in our city water. Oh. And... Like atrazine. Yeah, <laughs> fluoride and all the other... Yeah. All the other minerals that they promote, <laughs> you know? I felt that. Yeah. Minerals. Right. Have you ever done study about like how thoughts are water and how our thoughts can actually affect our reality? So Tara is a CPTG, which is certified pure. Okay. And I, that's where my heart is because I want to build community with the people and the families that are harvesting them. Yeah. Yeah, I did a fascinating, I did a study on water a number of years ago, and that's one of the conclusions that I came to is that you literally are what you eat, yeah. you know, and so it does affect your mood and the types of people that you draw, you know, because we have uh, vibrations and frequencies and stuff. I wanted to learn more about that a little bit because of the oils. Okay. Yeah, I know, because right? My cells were like, or now they're communicating, right? Yep. Because they're hydrated. And you become, and you're, and you're satisfied. Yeah. You know, it's not like this constant. Well, you're connecting. Yep. Because you know, people eat instead of drink. Yeah. But their cells are telling them that they're connecting those dots. Well, one other uh, fascinating thing about water is, if you Google "space is water," like outer space, you know, yeah. it being water. And how in the Genesis 1, it talks about stars. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so the stars that they're able to recreate in this beaker, they're using frequency and vibration. And if you, you know, like I said, if you, if you check out, like, stars in water, you'll see the various formations of what they tell us the stars are. Like, for example, Venus... It's actually just a circle, a bunch of circles in together, and they're just a vibration. Uh, to kind of give you a better visual, in like the science museums, for example, yeah. you have that metal square plate, right? And then you would put sand on it. And then you would press a button, and then that sand that sand would get vibrated by the, the flat steel. And then you would see a formation displayed by the vibration. And then you'd press another button, and then it would turn into something else, and so on and so on. And so with, you know, the community that I'm a part of, we have noticed that those same formations from frequency and vibration are recreated in the sky. And so those wandering stars, you know, that they tell us that are Mars and all this, they're just actually unique lights in the sky that have their own personal vibration level. And they're not actually physical objects that we can land on, oh, like right, right. like the moon <laughs> and Mars, right? Which is why they so heavily propagate us with movies about outer space. Yeah, you know, I thought that was... Uh, um, I, I, a friend of mine, she's like, Yeah. That that's just a governmental. Yeah. Like, I guess I don't know if you want to call it propaganda, but like in the wrong direction. Yeah, and and. And it's just a joke. Yeah, and they're and they're giving us our ideas, 
through lies and deceit. And a lot of people have found in this community of flat earthers that there are no atheists on flat earth. Because <laughs> so even atheists who investigate flat earth and try to prove us wrong through... Oh, main, oh yeah, yep. Yeah. So, Why? well, because they believe in science. They believe that we live on a ball in outer space. And so they try to prove the flat earth as being false, but they end up becoming a flat earther because you're not able to debunk it. Yeah. And then you realize that we do possibly live in a Truman Show-like environment. Well, doesn't the scripture also talk about being four corners of the earth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which yep. is the other, the other question that's come up with. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And in Daniel, it talks about a tree reaching the heights of the heavens where all of the earth can see it. Yeah. How can everybody on the earth see a tree if it's a ball? Wouldn't the other people on the yeah. other side not be able to see that tree? Right, 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 right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 100%. <laughs> so. Yeah. I don't know where the ball thing came from. Uh, yeah, well. That came from what? Well, Three, hundreds of, well, yeah, but it also came from hundreds of years ago from oh, yeah. probably secret societies that wanted to hide the true nature of human beings and our creator. So. Well, also, when you said, like, there is really, so Mars is just what you say it is, meaning these names, the English language, you know, has always been distorted in my opinion. Either. Yeah. Yep. Right? Our, yep. Our rooted language. I think you want to get off oh. up here. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, we're uh, we're locked in a conversation here. I've done it too. But yeah, in the you know those planets are of Roman gods or various pagan type right. entities. Like the names of our yep. Days. And if you look back, you'll see that the people who propagated the deception of us spinning around the sun, they are in fact sun worshippers. And so they were trying to instill that idea into us. And it seems like they've done quite a good job yeah. at doing it. Yeah, well, with the help of churches. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's... It's really... Churches, I don't even know the word. There should be a new well, like I said, there's a new word for them. It's called the public education system. That's that's church. That's so, you yeah, you could just go straight and then just drop me off oh, up at the okay. next after the next light here, and I'll just. So do you want to just take my information? Do you have something you can just put it in here? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yep. And then, and then I got. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> Only because I really prefer to have a genuine contact versus throwing a bunch of information. Sure, yeah, what is it? Okay, so Tikva Travel. Tikva? T I K V A H, Tikva. Okay. And tra travel at Gmail. All right. And then, do you want to put my business number in? Yeah, there? that'd be great. 952. 1948. 48, awesome. And then your name again? Tikva. Tikva, okay. <laughs> well, here's my information. I got awesome. actually oh, look at you. Good job. some DVDs there for you that actually talk about oh, okay. the idea of the earth being flat oh, and, per and I love that tonight. perspective. Better and Netflix. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So text me your info and then we'll have a contact. Yeah, I hope so. That's awesome. Have a good rest of your you. evening. Thanks yeah, a lot. You too. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. All right, all right, all right. We are here at the XL Energy Center. Minnesota Lynx are hosting the LA Spark for regular season playoff basketball. Both of these teams are number one in the Western Conference.
Although I think the Lynx have a better record at the moment. I think they have the best record in the WNBA. Hey Ginger, good to see you. Thanks a lot. That was good to talk to her. Hopefully she checks out the videos. Hey Tikva, good to see you. Thanks for chatting for the time being. Hey Patricia, thanks a lot for stopping by today also. It is a beautiful day here in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Daniel, Jordan, Alex, Minnesota in the house. Paul White, hello sir. All right, I'll show you what we got to go up against here. We're gonna hang out up front here again as we did previously when the Lynx destroyed Seattle Storm. Got a bus dropping off patrons. Thanks a lot, Flat Earth and other hot potatoes. I appreciate it. We got some new signage today. I posted one of the messages on the thumbnail. I'm poor and I need help. So there it is. I'm a flat earther. Please help me. Please, please give me some of your knowledge and wisdom. So you can re-educate me back to the globe. Right? I need re-education. So we got all these people hanging out here. Coming to the basketball game. This is going to probably be one of the better games of the year with both of these teams at peak performance at the moment. How's it going, gentlemen? A hey, research flat earth, all right? The earth is flat and not a ball, bud, okay? Tell your teacher. How you guys doing? I'm a flat earther, guys. Flat earther? Yeah. All right, talk to your teachers about the earth being flat, all right? Have a good afternoon. Please, somebody help me. I'm a flat earther. Kyrie Irving has brainwashed my mind into believing the earth is flat. It's all his fault. Kyrie Irving. A lot of people know who Kyrie Irving is here. How you guys doing? Good, good. Help me, I'm a flat earther. Any of your wisdom you can partake is beneficial. Hi ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Enjoy the game. And while you see the Lynx destroying the LA whatever they're called. Research flat earth, all right? Yep, the earth is flat and not a ball. All right. Got a, got a saxophone player up there. Go check him out later. Got some schmutz on my camera, hold on a second. All right, that's better. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Terrific. Terrific. How you guys doing today? Good, good. Hey, when you go back to school this fall, tell your teacher that the earth is flat and not a ball, okay? See where that goes. Tell them Kyrie Irving sent you. That te those teachers are going to be flipping their desks over. They're not going to know what to do when these kids come on to school and challenge the narrative. So we're going to hang out here and loiter for a little bit. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm a flat earther. Please help me. The earth is flat and not a ball. Any wisdom you can partake would be terrific. Re-educate me back to the ball, please. How you guys doing? Hey, I'm terrific. Kyrie Irving sent me. Yeah, told me the earth is flat. Now I'm here. Hey, right on. Yep, check it out. All right. Let's go check out the saxophone player. See if he's got a jam he can give us.
Got the establishment posted up. XL Energy Center Security in a dialogue with me here pretty soon, I'm sure. How you doing? Hey, hey, hey. See, the nice thing about this signage is I don't really have to say a whole lot because I highlighted flat earth in that. And then I got the other side. There's that sign. Welcome to the game. The oceans are flat and level. Why wouldn't they be, right? Hey, Mew. Good to see you. Thanks a lot. Timmy. Yeah, you inspire me too, man. So much. Such a... You're such an inspiration. To everybody. Let's see if these people want to dialogue with me. Alright, so we are here at the XL Energy Center. Last time we were here, we were at Gate 2. And then we went to the smoking section at Gate 3. So we'll do that later. This is actually Gate 2. Yeah, but Gate 3 is down there, your smoking section. Yep. Thanks, 617. Thank you, 617. Alright. <laughs> yeah, they should. Exactly. Yeah, if you got any information or wisdom you can give me about the ball earth, so I don't believe in the flat earth anymore? No? Oh. Do you believe we live in a ball? Alright, well, investigate flat earth, okay? How you doing, ma'am? Check it out. Your riff? <laughs> yeah? All right. He's a good sax player, huh? Good sax. Well, until you investigate Flat Earth, it does sound like mockery and ridicule. Well, how do you know, ma'am? If you think that you're living a rebellious life in this reality, be a Flat Earther and a lesbian. Let's see where that gets you. How you guys doing? Good, good. I'm terrific. I'm a flat earther. Do you got any wisdom you can give me so uh, I, co I conform back? No, it's not. Have you ever looked into it, man? No? Check it out. When you go back to school this fall, research flat earth. Tell your teacher about it. Folks, how you doing? All right. Research flat earth, all right? If you want to be really rebellious, become a flat earther. Yeah, I don't conform either. I don't conform either. If you want to be really rebellious, be a vegan flat earther. How about that? Homeschool your kids flat earth. That's a rebellious attitude. How you guys doing? Hey, Kyrie Irving sent me, man. No, no big deal. The earth is flat and not a ball. Check it out. I know it, it sounds funny. Try to research it. Yeah, he's tearing that sax up. How you doing? Hey, good, good. Enjoy the game there. If you get bored, research Flat Earth, okay? Right. Just punch it in Google, Flat Earth, perspective, how we don't live on a ball anymore. It's never changed. Kyrie Irving might be onto something, I'm just saying, you know. Talk to your teachers about it. Not a big deal. 
Hey folks, how you doing? Good, good. Have you ever really investigated the moon landing? And how it didn't really happen? Check it out. Check it out. Ooh, they have a ticket booth? How far is the ticket booth around the corner? Uh, about a minute. About five miles? So? No, no, not even. Not, like, not even right down there. Oh, okay. People, a lot of people buying tickets right now? Yeah, for a Lynx game. Oh, yeah. Sure for, like, Lynx regular Lynx. season playoff basketball, right? Right, yeah. It's nice in there. Yeah, I might want to check it out. Let's go down there. Never been down that way. Let's uh, switch up the signage. Let's in invite everybody to enjoy the game and let them know that the oceans are flat. Whoa. All right. Had an earthquake there. <coughs> All right. So, hey guys and gals. Appreciate everybody hanging out for this Friday night. What better thing would you rather do than watch somebody loiter outside of the XL Energy Center, right? That's what I want to do. All right, Joy. Kitty Felines. Paul White just when, when drank too much. When drank too much. Trisha, hey, thanks a lot, Trisha. I'm excited to be here uh, to watch this live also. It's been a while. Sun gaze flat, I know, right? The only time the sun has been out for a while, it was raining earlier. All right, let's see how many people are trying to buy their admission tickets. Oh, shucks, you gotta go inside. Well, I've never been over here. And there's our old stomping ground across the street. We were over there where we got harassed by Science Museum of Minnesota manager establishment telling me that I was not allowed to put the Science Museum logo on camera. That didn't last for very long because that video has been up this whole time. So... His threats did not come to fruition. So that's the science museum over there. And then we got the River Center right in front of me. That's where they do like concerts and whatnot here in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Yeah, I know. Well, he was trying to say like they have rights and like some kind of, he came up with some like term that I wasn't allowed to put the Science Museum logo on camera, and even if I was using it as fair use, he was just vomiting out stuff that he thought he remembered from training. And it, it, it didn't scare me, you know? I'm gonna, I'll probably go back there if I can find an opportunity to talk to some people, but there's not really a lot of traffic at that location, so. You're just kind of standing out and hoping that the few people that walk by, because they have a parking lot down below, so most people just park in the parking lot. Although, if I bought a ticket to go inside, would they be able to kick me out if I bought a ticket? Hmm. Juminati? Yeah, oh yeah, intellectual property, that's it. Intellectual. Intellectual. What a at the Science Museum. Tell me that's not ironic. Right? Flatlander? How you doing, man? Yeah, yeah. Kyrie Irving sent me here to talk about Flat Earth. Oh. Yeah. He did say the Earth was flat. He did say it. Yeah, what do you think about that? Investigate it, man. Check it out. It's for it's the real deal holy field. The real deal holy field. We got some more patrons crossing the street to enjoy their fake 
rigged WNBA basketball. And we get to listen to the sax player up here. Sax in the phone. Tell these kids a little something something. How you guys doing? Hey, good. When you go back to school this fall, tell your teacher the earth is flat and see if you get kicked out. Yeah, because they're water. Water is flat and level. We don't live on a ball. I know that reaction, and I've seen it plenty of times. I do, yeah. Yep. Yep. Did you know that it says 40 times in the Bible that the earth is flat, motionless, and not spinning? And the moon... Oh, hey, well, that's, that's, that's awesome. It is on video, yep. I'm your Snapchat, King Daddy underscore THO. All right. Don't listen to anything the establishment tells you, young man. All right, we will. We'll do it. Represent Snapchat. Hey, guys, while the links are blowing out, how you doing? Good, good. Hey, when you go back to school this fall, uh, ask your teacher why water doesn't curve around a ball. Why it's flat. Hey, folks, how you doing? Good. Hey, good, good. Say, so, uh, I got a, a sign here that says the oceans are flat and level, and they don't curve around like a ball. Yeah, it sounds crazy. But I would suggest while the links are blowing out LA to research flat earth, all right? Blowing them out, ladies, how you doing? Good, good. Hey folks, how you doing today? Hey, terrific. Say, while the links are blowing out LA, research how they fake the moon landing. We need something like, we need some like swing dancing music like I was talking about in Flat Cab. This guy needs to hit that saxophone with some swing music. Jump and jive in, then you really wanna tail it away. I can see Patricia doing uh, swing dancing. Hey, how y'all doing today? Good, how are you? I'm terrific, thanks. Kyrie Irving sent me here. <laughs> yeah, the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught in school. So check it out while the links are blowing out LA. How y'all doing today? Hey, good, good. Say, while you're in there watching the Lynx game, you could Google Flat Earth and see how water is flat and level. Yeah. Ladies, how you doing? Hey. How you doing? Good, good. Ooh, there's quite a line here. Quite. Hey, Shanna. Lily Sparks, you get out of here with that talk, Daniel. I have used my gematria numbers and the date. The time, the time is right now 8... 820 right now on the East Coast. 720... Central Standard Time, so that's Dimash here right there. Lynx win. How you doing? Good, good. Lynx win 72 to 81. Because it's August 11th, so we'll use the 8 and the 1. How y'all doing today? Hey, terrific. Yeah, Kyrie Irving sent me here. He did, yeah. He told me, hey, Josh, go do Flat Earth in front of the XL Energy Center. Yeah. Research Flat Earth, all right, ma'am? I didn't hear a word you said, man. I, I'm. I still didn't hear what he said. I'm sure it was important, though, right? It's 8:20 here, 5:20. Okay, so we'll add those up. Subtract the year. Gematria tells me links win. Doesn't matter how you how you do it. How you guys doing today? Hey, good. When you go back to school this fall, challenge your teacher about the earth being flat and motionless. 
All right. Yeah. Maybe it's true. That's why I'm here, huh, bud? Yeah. Maybe it is. I love telling really young kids it because they pretty much parrot everything you say. Hey guys, how you doing today? Hi. Hey, terrific. Hey, while the links are blowing out LA, you could research Flat Earth, all right? Just punch it into Google. Chicago Skyline Mirage. Yeah, well, ridicule before investigation is the height of ignorance, man. Enjoy the game. Hope you enjoy your $10 Mick Goldens and your $10 pretzels with cheese. Processed cheese, of course. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Did you guys, I didn't get the memo about how you all dressing up. It's the same, I didn't get that memo, man. You left me out. You left me out. How y'all doing today? Hey, Kyrie Irving sent me here to tell you the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught in school. So check it out in your free time. It's not a big deal to research something like flat earth, perspective, how water doesn't curve on a ball. Kyrie Irving. They said they wanted to trade Kyrie Irving to Minnesota, but we already got somebody. Did we get Jeff Teague or something like that, I think? Hey, Rand, good to see you. Yeah, we are hitting it. Hitting people in the forehead with red pills. Hey, ma'am, how are you today? Good, how are you? I'm terrific, thanks. Good. Google Flat Earth, all right, when you got a second? Okay. Yeah. No, like the idea that the Earth is flat and motionless and not a ball. Yeah. Check it out, ladies. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, Joy, you got that right. Okay, we did get tea. <clears throat> That's what I thought. They kind of jumped the gun on that. We could have had Flat Earth Kyrie Irving. That would have, We would have definitely been the capital of Flat Earth if we would have gotten Kyrie Irving. Him and I could do it. Could you imagine me and Kyrie Irving doing this? It's a good thing I'm a white guy. They, that's the only reason they would notice me is because I'm white and holding a sign. Otherwise, everybody would want his autograph. How you doing, folks? Good. Hey, terrific. While you're in there, uh, and the links are blowing out LA, Google Flat Earth. Flat Earth? Flat Earth, yeah. Yeah. Like perspective. Yeah, I actually read quite a bit about Flat Earth, and, well, quite frankly, I gotta think you're batshit crazy. I'm batshit crazy? Okay. Well, they do make guanu out of batshit, and it's, it's pretty good sometimes to people. It just is like a palate thing. Right. Yeah. But I've actually stood in places where Okay, like, kind of like this picture here where that's 130,000 feet up top there and that's still a flat horizon. Have you been that high? 130,000 feet and seen a flat horizon? Yep, look at, see the flat, if you Google high altitude balloon flat earth, uh -huh. yeah, those are flat horizons. Oh, yeah, well it is if you... In, Ridicule before investigation is the height of ignorance there, Stripes. I've looked it up. All right. Well, I've looked up a lot of stuff and I've ignored it. Uh, well, Kyrie Irving sent me here, fellas. Yeah, flat earth, man. You guys want to send me the memo next time so I can get the uniform? That guy had gold all up in his grill. <laughs> right, Germanati? He certainly did. Hey, how's the fire department going? Good? All right. She works for the fire department. Oh, you don't? Oh, you used to? You are the fire department. All right, well... I am starting some fires over here with my tongue about Flat Earth, so... I'm trying to get a meal. Did you spare any? Yeah, the Earth is... <laughs> I am a Flat Earther. Could you impart some wisdom? 
No? This girl's ruining Andrea, my mojo. Did you she is ruining my mojo. It's good, I don't have to like really say a whole lot, because we got that guy. I'm a flat earther. <laughs> what's what's that? Hold on a second. Daniel Reza, uh, we have a lot of those around my house. Disney is a popular place for beggars. Well, <coughs> Disneyland. Din I'm going to Disneyland. <clears throat> All right. So let's uh, hit up this guy. He looks like he's informed. If he looks away, that means I go away, right? How you doing, man? You got any wisdom, man? Do you got any wisdom or knowledge you could share with me to help me believe the ball earth again? I don't believe we live on a ball earth, and I'm just trying to get somebody to convince me that we do. I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say either, man. Have a good one. Well, he couldn't give me a reason behind the logic of the ball earth. I'm just asking. I need help. I clearly need help. That guy said I was batshit crazy. But then when you put batshit on a piece of bread, it's a delicacy. So, flat earth is a delicacy in other countries, if you want to use that idiom, right? How's it going, man? Hey, pretty well, thanks. You going to the game tonight? Oh, right on. Waiting for your friends? Yeah, I hear you there, man. <laughs> Juminati, I'm just, hey, that's what I hear, man. How y'all doing today? Hey, good. Hey, when you go back to school this fall, ask your teacher why the earth is flat and not a ball. Okay? See what they say about that. I'm going to get a copyright strike because that guy's playing music on my video. I know, wouldn't that be just the craziest thing? Fellas, what's up? What's up? Nada. Kyrie Irving sent me here. Yeah, you know who Kyrie Irving is, right? Yeah, he, he traded, traded though. He, he, traded. He, he, he got traded? Oh, snap. Those are some nice kicks, man. Yep. Did you know that the earth is flat? Never, Never heard of it? All right, well, check it out. That's what Kyrie Irving told me. So if you Google flat earth, see where it goes. All right, fellas? Check it out. He was styling and profiling in them new kicks. No, they're not going to be able to either, Joy. Hey, folks, how you doing? Just looking for wisdom. If you could help me conform back to believing the earth is a ball, that would be great, sir. No? He laughs at me. If I asked you for a dollar, would you give me a dollar? That dollar's worth is worth more than knowledge, I guess. A dollar is worth more than knowledge. If I was peddling for money, he would have given it to me. But oh yeah, Juminati, that lady had his balls in her purse. Spheres. And they were blue, probably. Spinning in her purse. They all laugh. They certainly do. The basket circle game, right? Will do. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's probably the quote of the night so far by Drew Minotti. 
had his blue spherical balls in her purse that were spinning at a million miles an hour in the vacuum void darkness of her purse. How you doing, sir? Hey, while you got your phone out, you could research flat earth, all right? The idea that we don't live on a ball. I spoke to that young lady, uh, security lady over there, last time I was here. So we'll leave her alone. We'll let her be. Got a lot of traffic. I mean... Hey, geocentric love, I love you too. Just because your name has the word love in it. So, thanks everybody for hanging out for the duration of this broadcast. We're going to do another episode of Flat Cab on the way home. <coughs> Flataf.com. This is my first time seeing your work. Good stuff. Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. We're, walk we're hanging out with this sign right here. The sign that you saw on the thumbnail. So this pretty much gets them right away, so I really don't have to say a whole lot. They can just mock and ridicule me without me opening my mouth. And then I Bruce Lee sidekick them with a red pill. And I tell them to research Flat Earth. Ladies, how you doing today? Alright, Kyrie Irving sent me here. He told me to tell you the Earth is flat and not a ball. Alright, well have you ever looked into it? You did? Like looking at the backs of a uh, cereal box? I know what that is. Okay, well, check it out a little bit longer than looking at the back of a cereal box. Folks, how you doing? Hey, when you go back to school this fall, ask your teacher why Flat Earth is becoming so popular. Is it true? How you doing today? Hey, terrific. Hey, while you're out there selling real estate for State Farm, uh, you could research flat earth in your free time all right have a good weekend while you're helping the man sell some property that isn't yours that you still pay taxes on research flat earth we're waking up says you got balls well basketballs Fellas, how you doing today? Hey, terrific. Kyrie Irving sent me here to tell you that the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught. So, you laugh at it now, but then when you sit down and actually research it... Oh, middle finger is science. That's awesome. Good rebuttal. You're rebellious. Nice work. I'm sorry? Am I selling tickets? No, I'm, I'm actually asking for wisdom. Yeah, I'm a flat earther, so ma'am, do you have any uh, in information you can help me with? A flat earth theory? Yeah, I'm a flat earther, and I'm just trying to ha have people tell me why I should believe in the ball again. Why you should believe in the globe? Yeah. I don't know, it don't make sense, because we, I don't know. It don't make sense to me. It doesn't? But completely flat don't make sense to me neither. Okay, it, does water curve on a massive scale like the oceans? Yeah, yeah. Let me. I got some uh, DVDs and okay. information on there. Uh, you open your mind a little bit. Okay. Check it out. Hey, Thank awesome. You. Have a good afternoon. <laughs> I came up with that idea a couple days ago to burn DVDs with some various YouTube videos. Nobody in particular, just ideas, you know, about perspective and NASA fakery and whatnot. So yeah, she was, she was cool. Hey, how you doing today? Hey, terrific. Hey, when you go back to school this fall, ask your teacher why is Flat Earth so popular? Yeah, enjoy that.
Hey folks, how you doing? Hey, I'm a flat earther. Do you have any wisdom you can impart to help me believe in the globe again? No, you can't. I can't either, man, so I'll remain a flat earther. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. All right, let's go have a smoke break. Let's see what's up over on the corner. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Just, I was wondering if you got any information you could, wisdom, to help me believe that we live in a ball in outer space? <laughs> no. no? Has it ever crossed your mind that we live on a flat, motionless plane? No. No? Well, it has now. I got some, uh, I got a DVD here, actually, and it's got information on it. I, I don't want to waste your stuff, sorry. No, you sure? You don't want, if I brought you new information that could prove Thank otherwise, you. you wouldn't want to take that opinion? No? Okay, well, when you do have free time, investigate Flat Earth, all right? Thanks, Darcy. Amy, have a good one. All right, let's go have ourselves a smoke break around the corner. Yeah, what are you gonna do, right? Pure wankery, yeah, that's what we got here. That is for sure. Just malarkey, skullduggery. All right, a life? Nope, I do not have one, but thanks. All right. If you just look down at the cement, you won't notice me when I walk by. Nobody's out here smoking. Got a fire department lady, though, over here. I would suggest that no, nobody's here yet. Ginger Sugar Bush. Burn DVDs of all meat, no potatoes by ODD. Best video out there. Well, I think I got some good videos too. Right? I'll think about it. I've never had a conversation with ODD, so I feel like it would be inappropriate to be burning his material and handing it out, considering I haven't heard anything from him, and I would be... I do send people to his channel, Mark Sargent's channel, and Eric Dubas, and his channel, yet I don't hear anything from them. So, you're welcome, fellas. You know, no big deal. Not a big deal at all. I do put everybody else's links and material in the description section below, and I, you know, funny thing, I don't see any of their, in, my information in their descriptions of their videos, either. So, that's alright, not a big deal. I'm small potatoes, right? I'm not hot. I'm small potato, like those little red potatoes that you just put right in your mouth. So, how y'all doing? Hey, good. Just looking for some wisdom, guys. You got any to help me conform back to the belief of the spinning ball? So the spinning ball? What spinning ball? Yeah, the Earth. Is the Earth round? Yeah, is it round? Or round like a pizza or a basketball? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know either. Get this crash on. on She's getting rowdy. Yeah. I know, right? No wonder why she has dents on the side of her car, I guess, huh? Right. <laughs> well, Kyrie Irving here sent me here, and I was just wondering if you could help me. Who the hell is Kyrie Irving? I know, right? That's what I said. But I'm just here, you know, asking for wisdom from my fellow Minnesotans to help me conform back to reality. Uh -huh. Do you got any? No? You know much about outer space? No. No? Hey man, I hear you about chemtrails. How about those EMF cell phone towers right above that uh, Holiday Inn right there, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 5G coming to your neck of the woods soon to melt your brain and <laughs> give you mind control MK Ultra. Look at them clouds right there, though. 
I know, right? I was out here earlier today, and there were three layers, kind of like a parallax yeah. of clouds. You, yeah, it was crazy. It's a big cloud over there. Like, it ain't even raining. Yeah, see that, folks? Right above the Holiday Inn. We got one on one corner and a bunch on the far right. How do you like them apples? Hey, guys. Hey, when you go back to school this fall, ask your teacher about flat earth. Flat Earth, yeah. Why is Flat Earth so popular right now? Huh. I know, right? Your teacher will know. Then she'll have an aneurysm. Why are all these kids talking about Flat Earth? So you're informed. Got a month to go. Did you know that basketballs can't melt steel buildings? Really? Yeah. Like if you throw a basketball at a steel building, it won't collapse on its own footprint? Oh, no. I no? You didn't know that? No? You know about 9-11? Familiar? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit? Well, that's why we have, that's why we get molested at uh, airports now, is because of 9-11. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that? I don't like it. I, hey, you know, I don't like it either, man. That's why I'm here. I don't like it and I'd do something about it, but everybody else seems to be content in paying income tax, which is theft, right. and drinking city water, which is fluoridated mind control. Oh yeah, what about Flint, Michigan? They still ain't got no clean water. Oh. Or the NHS um, system. You right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's talk about something like that. Now. Yeah. You know? Well, you were talking about chemtrails. Yeah. I'm part well, of the... I want to talk about the legal system. Oh, well, how, hey. How messed up it is. Yeah. charged with the same thing and you will get let off because you got white privilege. Hey man, I hear you man. I, I know a video, I got a video of, his name is allegedly Dave. I don't agree with everything that he says. But he's got a video where a white person walks around with an AR-15. You seen that? And the police come up. And, they, and he's like, yeah, you're cool. And then the black guy does it. He's on the ground in five seconds and they got seven squatties and a canine unit. Yeah, I'm, I totally understand where you're coming from, man. Talk about mass incarceration. Yep. Or hey, man, I'd be the first one to die for your right to say what you want to say because that's your right, man. So, you know, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it's, I don't know, modern day slavery. Yeah, well, that's why I'm here, man. The 13th Amendment says every citizen is free unless they're a prisoner or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, we are in a prison right now called the prison planet and the mind manipulation of us living on a ball when we actually might have more resources and land if we live on a flat earth yeah you know well. yeah yeah hey uni rock good to see you man hope we can get in touch later on this evening after this stream him and i are going to do a live google hangout hopefully around 11 p.m central standard time if, you, want, if uh, you ladies and gentlemen want to stop in. I got a uh, some DVDs there for you, man. Help you get more informed about the various uh, conspiratorial ideas of our enslavement in this country. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. But, I mean, people complain about stuff behind closed doors, but then when they see somebody actually doing something about it, they shake their head and call me an idiot. You know? Because yeah. I'm here to close this very place down because if my change actually gets followed through, y'all ain't gonna be watching much basketball because this is a fraudulent organization right here. You know? All your professional sports are indeed rigged and predetermined before they even get started. Oh yeah. So, good luck with that. I can't enjoy a professional basketball game anymore. You can't? No. Ooh, Lady Gaga coming here. Oh, awesome. I'm so excited. She has nothing to do with the establishment, MK Ultra Mind Control, Illuminati, One Eye Symbolism, Enslavement of the Children, nothing. Nothing to do with it. It's a good thing. The gorillas, the gorillas are coming to town also, folks. They have nothing to do with the enslavement of our young youth and minds in this country at all. Gucci man. Neither does Gucci Man. I mean, all of these people that they broadcast on this incredibly large LED screen, 
have nothing to do with the enslavement of our young children. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, they do? Oh. Yeah. Must be misinformed. Yeah. Sorry. You know, they use music to control the mind. They do. That's why they change the hertz right now. I think it's at 432. Yeah, where it's supposed to be at. I don't know. It's not supposed to be where it's at, I tell you that. And then they use those towers on top of the Holiday Inn to propagate their lies and enslave us. You waiting to get in the game, are you friend? You waiting for a friend? Yeah. Yeah. Playoff basketball, regular season, man, that's pretty good stuff, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know what the score is? No? Hey viewers in YouTube land, do you happen to know the score of the you Minnesota Lynx YouTube? LA? Yeah, I'm live on YouTube right now, man. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, that's that's how we roll. We do things live, uncut, unscripted, Shoot, shooting from the hip. <coughs> All right. So, what do you think? Might go take another smoke break and see if anybody's down there. It's got to be, I don't know, how long is halftime maybe? Trisha, 1710, is that the Lynx? I would assume, let's just say that's the Lynx. I'm looking at my Gematria calendar again. I still got the Lynx winning the game. Hey Ian, good to see ya. Snack to the future, 3233, Lynx, right? Unirock, OBS can record anything you want also. So you can really make really high def videos with it also. Yep. I'm a flat earther. Do you have any wisdom you can impart to help me believe in the ball? No? What if the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught in school? What if you found out they were lying to us ever since you're four years old? Yeah, well, I'm, I think I'm bigger than Kyrie, to be honest with you. Who is Kyrie, he says. Hey, folks, how you doing? Uh, terrific. I'm a flat earther. I believe the earth is flat. Uh, research it while the links are blowing out L.A., okay? He's like, I'm going to the game. I got better things to do than learn about truth. Chemtrails, MK Ultra cell phone towers on top of that Holiday Inn, hotel, motel, Holiday Inn. All right, let's go check out. Yeah, there aren't a lot of Christians that. Christians conform because of what Romans 15 says that you basically got to worship the government and don't rise up against them because they were put in there by God, right? Which God? How about the God of this earth? How about that? It's malarkey. It really is sad though, as how many Christians do back away when I talk about flat earth. It's really sad that I actually get mocked by more Christians than I do open-minded, atheistic-type mindsets. So nobody's taking a smoke break yet. It must not be half-time or whatever. Unirock, no one should mock you. An open mind means accepting others belief well some some Christians unfortunately are, are so dogmatic that they believe science because they were taught it in school and they don't realize that science that's being taught in school is a religion in itself but 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 gravity Joy, I bet 99.9% .9 of Christian church pastors 
in the US think it is a globe, you are correct. You want to know why? Because 99.9% .9 of those pastors don't have the balls to say the earth is flat because they will lose 99.9% .9 of their congregation. And they'll be living in a car two weeks later. That's why. Because people don't stand up for what's right. They stand up for what pays them. And the globe pays them. What was that? Uh, Lynx 35, 32 with about two minutes to go until halftime. Yep. Hey, Loco. Good to see you. Thanks a lot for hanging out and stopping by. We got another uh, episode of Flat Cab coming at you on the way home after this loitering in front of the XL Energy Center. How are you guys doing? Good. Geocentric love, Josh, you are a hero. No, I'm not G.I. Joe. Not G.I. Joe. I'd rather preach truth to three people, right? I would rather preach truth to three people instead of 3,333, right? I am 100% not a pastor. <laughs> well, G.I. Joe is a murderer. Yep, amen, right there. That's legalized murder right there. Most of the Marine Corps and Army propaganda that's out right now makes it sound like you're joining a team, like a sporting event, and if the other guys don't show up, it's best for them, because if they do, we'll murder them with the military-industrial complex. How you fellas doing? Hey, terrific. While you guys are on your cell phones and the links are destroying LA, research Flat Earth, all right? Just check it out. Yeah, man. Kyrie Irving sent me here. All day. Yeah. Hey. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Yep. He did. Yeah. Kyrie's coming. Uh. Well, he might. If uh, you want to research flat Earth, okay. You'll be his friend. You'll be his friend if you research flat Earth. Ugh. Hey, folks. How you doing? Hey. Terrific. Thanks. While you're in the game, check out Flat Earth, okay? And you go back to school this fall, ask your teacher about Flat Earth, okay, bud? Nothing wrong with investigating the idea of the Earth being flat and not a ball. No big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I think as the game continues, you know, I think they're probably going to keep this game close. My Gematria calculator. Let me punch that in. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 boop. You don't know what Gematria is, man? Oh, explain that to me. Give me some knowledge. Yeah, so with the English language, you know, we have 26 characters, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, okay. Yeah. Each one of those letters is a corresponding number. And so gematria may or may not mean when you make a word, that word equals out that word equals out to be a particular number, and that number corresponds with a propagandized name or term, like a definition. So when you say that the sun is 93 million miles away, mm -hmm. the number 93 means propaganda. So it's propaganda that they're telling you that the sun is 93 million miles away when it in, is in fact closer okay. than what they're telling us. And so if you were to research like Gematria with sporting events, you'll find that mostly the, the time of day, like the day that's going on, that the game is going on, and the ending score means something that usually corresponds with a news event at that time. Is your third eye open? My pineal gland? Yeah. What do you think? I just drink strictly distilled water and I juice a lot, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. you can kind of go from there and figure it out. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm quite versed and aware of what's going on. I don't know everything, man, but I certainly don't. I'm not afraid of the establishment's cameras. Yeah, me neither. Above here, as I come out here regularly, and at the Target Center, Target Field, Lake Calhoun, the state capitol, and I tell people that we're being deceived and lied to by the establishment. Of course. We are. Yeah. So. Gematria definitely helped me. I don't agree with a lot of the people that teach Gematria, but I do listen to what they have to say about the idea that sports and news articles are written in a manner that the elites understand and we don't. So. Um, I think here they come right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hey, proprietor, good to see you. Flat Earth Accord? No. Thank you, sir. Yeah, 93 upside down is 666. There you go. Ian, I think you know why. I think you know why. All right. We're waking up. Have a good sleep. I heard, uh, I saw you were in the UK, I think, right? So have a good one. Have a good one. Pan Am Flight 93, right? The one that crashed into, quote, no, the, one of the flights that was during 9-11 crashed into, quote, Pennsylvania field and it just disintegrated because that's what planes do is they just disintegrate oh. how you doing dude hey good good Kyrie Irving sent me here to tell you that the earth is flat and uh, investigate flat earth tell your teacher ask her why water doesn't curve on a ball and why they're spending our, their, our money on chemtrails you know, I got a lot of uh, flat earth friends that, you know, like eat their own produce. They grow their own tomatoes and whatnot. But it's funny because then I tell them, are you growing your food outside or inside a tent? And they usually say outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then it's a chemtrail rain. Yeah. <laughs> right? So he totally loses the whole point of growing your own food. So I hope you heard that, guys. Get a tent. Water your uh, plants and vegetables with distilled water or ionized water somehow. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm terrific, thanks. Did the links already blow LA out? No. No? All right, it's closed. It's halftime right now, huh? All right. Okay. Say, uh, has it ever crossed your mind that the earth is flat and motionless and not spinning like we're taught in school? And not traveling through space? Not hurtling millions of miles through space, no sir. Are you sure? I am pretty confident, because I'm, I'm here and I have over 100 hours of content. I know, right? I do have a DVD if you'd be so inclined to check it out. It's got some information on there. Okay, can I, is it for That's for you, yeah. Thank you. I'm hey. interested in science and all. Hey, I am too. Thanks. Okay. Have a good afternoon. Drive safe out there. Hey, how you doing today? Hey, awesome. Hey, when you go back to school this fall, research Flat Earth and talk to your teachers about it. You'll get immediately kicked out. All right, I got like six more DVDs. I got my best of, and then I got another DVD full of like videos about perspective, NASA fakery compilations. The Chicago skyline, 52 miles, you know, stuff that they can research on their own time and look up. Send them right to the information. And then they can kind of pick and choose who they want their information to come through. Her daughter just got some real science to watch. I hope she gets it and watches. I hope so too. Okay, so hope. That guy was bent. <laughs> science? While wow, they did. You put me on a Snapchat. You were standing at the top up there. <laughs> oh, you little dirty mother. <laughs> of course I see you. Cali in the house. Well, of course I see you. you don't think California. I beautiful. Hey, I'm not listening. How you doing? I'm good. Hey, I'm terrific. Thanks. 
Hey, while the links are blowing out LA, you should research flat earth, okay? Flat earth, yeah. We don't live on a ball in outer space. Yeah. Uh, we're not though, ma'am. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Her t-shirt said, I'm not listening, and she listened to everything I had to say. It's like she was at the edge of her seat in XL Energy Center. Didn't he land? Random red pills, number four. I got a Pez dispenser of red pills. And the only way to wake zombies up from their sleep is a red pill to the forehead. Flat Earth is the pepper spray of truth. Yeah, they're like, don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me with a red pill, bro. Truman Show, yeah, well, hey, Truminati, that's a good point. Uh, the Truman Show is one of the best Flat Earth DVDs, for sure. Yoglo, you only go flat once, Yoglo, geocentric love. Flat Earth is a rubber bullet to the solar plexus. Sunny, straight to the face. Once you go flat, you never go back. Big up in, in 10. Hey, DJ Wednesday, good to see you. Haven't said hi to you yet. Trumpinati. Yeah, fraud. He, he plays the part pretty well, you know? Plays the part pretty well. You know, Trump's a liar. He lies to kids. Just to let you know, he was in Home Alone 2 and he lied to... <clears throat> yes, sir. In Home Alone 2, Trump lies to a child. So... He lied to the children. He, he lied to that child. He lied to poor little Kevin. Told him to go the wrong way. Freaking liar. All is one now. Well, it's almost. Almost is. Kevin! That movie would have probably been cut in half if Trump would have lied to Kevin. Oh, he did? I didn't know that. He said, uh, Daniel Riza says that child voted for Trump. He probably did with... <laughs> North Korea, right? North Korea with those drone nuclear weapons, right? Those drone nuclear weapons. The size of paper towel rolls, right? All right, it's halftime. So maybe there's people out smoking. Let's go have a smoke break. See if there's some irate nicotine addictions that I can man uh, trigger. <clears throat> My guess, why does Trump support NASA if he says the Earth is flat? Well, because they have his spherical balls and a ringer. That's why. He knows where his butter is, where his bread is buttered. You know. He knows where his bread is buttered. I don't smoke no more, I don't smoke no less, says Daniel Riza. Well, gotta be consistent, right? Yep, we got a handful of nicotine addictions outside. So, yeah, he is, Joy. That's not good. <coughs> not good at all. Yes, they do. If you want to be president, you certainly aren't going to be able to have your own independent mind. It's kind of like public school. <laughs> yeah, you got any wisdom you can help me out with, ma'am? I'm just, I just, I'm trying to, con I'm trying to conform back to where everybody else is here. Yeah. You don't? You don't have anything you can prove to me that we live on a ball? No? I don't either. That's why I'm a flat earther. Make, makes sense, right? Hey, makes sense. Well, I do have a DVD, you know. Uh, it's got some 
got some information for you. No? So if my information changes your idea of us living in a spinning wet ball rocket in outer space, you wouldn't take that information? No? Oh, that's fine. No? You got some info? Alright. You got any wisdom, sir? You look like you've, uh, you're a traveling man. Best thing about flat earth? Yeah. The brewery at hand. Uh, uh, well, hey, funny story is I've actually been to the Flat Earth Brewery and they kicked me out. What a coincidence, huh? Funny story. You go to the Flat Earth Brewery and they don't call you back when you want to talk about Flat Earth. I'm sorry? Kind of like a grounder. A grounder. Yeah. Have you ever watched The 100? No. No. I know that's an inside joke. Could you? No. Well, I mean, do you got any uh, wisdom you could impart to help me conform to the ball, Earth? Uh, bomb Korea. Bomb Korea. Okay, well, if you believe nuclear weapons are real, that's fine. Oh, no, they're not real. No? I mean, we haven't been using them since the, I don't know, 40s? Yeah. What if we've never used them and that was just fire bombs? I know, that could have been a hey. whole Jesse Ventura thing. Okay, well, I'm just saying, have you seen a nuclear weapon with your own physical eyes? I have. Other than Hollywood? I have. Okay. I used to be in the service. I okay. Saw you, of them. you saw like really big bombs explode? No, I didn't see them explode. Oh, okay. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't be here. Oh, so you just saw them like put I together? I saw them. You know. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so you didn't see it explode. So if you see it as a missile, you assume that that's real, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, all right. Just like this game in here is real? Uh, nope. Nope. Different, different no, subject? I didn't see the guys physically putting together those games. Uh huh. No, I mean this game here, the WNBA, you think this is a real event that is manufactured randomly? Oh, it's all Holocaust stuff. It's Holocaust like, stuff? It's images and stuff. Yeah. I don't think it's real. I think the girls are fake. They're fake? Robots. It's robots. Robots? No, it's not really robots. It's more like images projected on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> our, our Just like my daughter was earlier when she played down there, she was like an image too. Yeah. She's not sitting with me. No. Okay. I'm just saying that. You know, I, I am just saying that professional sports do have a tendency to be rigged, though. So. Yeah. All right. Well, enjoy the next Metallica concert, man. That's how we all escape. That cigarette I had was really good, but it wasn't real. Hey. All right, man. Have fun with those thoughts. Stay conformed. Don't go against the establishment. Stay conformed. All the conformity. Oh, it's that lady right there. What's her number again? She flamed me last time and told me to leave. 216. Oh, there she is. All she can do is just lean against that. She can't do anything. She doesn't have a problem with the cameras that are above us on the intersection. But she has a problem with my camera. <laughs> What's going on, man? You look pretty flashy today. That's a nice get up. Yeah, I like that classic Timberwolves hat, though. For real. For real, real. Yeah. Yeah. You look like a traveling man yourself. Uh, you got any wisdom that you can impart to help me conform back to the ball earth? You don't? Yeah, sure. Hey, amen, man. Yeah. Hey, right on. Did you know that in the word of God, it does say about 40 times that the earth is flat and motionless? No, I've never read that. Never read that? You know that in Genesis 1, it actually talks about the moon and the sun giving off its own lights? Yeah, so like the sun, the moon does not reflect the sun's light. It actually projects its own personal light. Yeah, and in Job 38.5, when God is talking to Job about how he wasn't there when God created the heavens and the earth, right? In Job 38.5, he talks about how he stretches a line upon it. Does that make sense? Okay, so when you think of a line, do you draw a squiggly line or do you typically draw a straight line? Sure. 
can draw a straight line from me to you. Yeah. Or I can draw a curve line and go around to you. Okay. Sure. Okay. I get you. And so, there's a video on the YouTube called the Chicago Skyline. So from one side of Michigan Lake, okay, you can see the Chicago skyline from 52 miles away. How is it that you can see 52 miles away over water if water's supposed to curve around a ball? I know, but you're, you're, you're a human being that can use logic and observation, right? Yes, so you don't have to you don't have to use science as to perpetuate somebody okay, else's I, intellect. I, I know one thing. I know the earth, the world, the earth ain't flat, bro. You know that. I know that. How do you know that? How do you know that? Okay. Hey, yeah. What do we orbit around? What do we orbit around? I don't think we orbit around anything. We're taught that we orbit around the sun. We're taught that we orbit the sun. And we're taught that because the people who created our educational system are sun worshippers, man. Sun worshippers. We don't move around the sun, man. I could actually prove to you with a DVD that I have that the Earth is actually flat and motionless. And the moon and the sun revolve around us because we are that special. Are you Googling Chicago skyline right now so you can see 52 miles across a body of water? There shouldn't be curvature, man. Oh, I'm a weirdo? Okay, yeah, ridicule before and... Sure I do, man. Yep. Ridicule... Ridicule before investigation is the height of ignorance. This guy... Hey. This guy believes the world is flat. Hey, that's alright, man. I have... I have over a hundred hours of people mocking me. So, you mocking me and taking a picture isn't my first rodeo, alright? So... Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, and there's also people that actually get informed and do investigate my claims. Well, a hundred hours, clearly, that's got to say something. Like, maybe you're... Dedicated? <laughs> Dedicated, don't engage. So, when you, see, when you see straight lines in the sky that stay up there for hours, would you call those chemtrails or contrails? <laughs> yeah. What if they're chemtrails and they're spraying us with aluminum and barium and other chemicals that we can't name? Well, it is. Do you take vac? Do you get vaccines? Fuck yeah. Okay. Well, can I suggest not to anymore? No, you can't. Okay. Well, I can suggest. I can. Well, if if they're vaccinated, what do you got to worry about? Who's, who, so who's the weirdo of getting their picture taken? Because they're... Come on, man, you got a I do. Because I'm, li because I'm live on YouTube right now. Yeah, I'm live on YouTube. We're live on YouTube, man. So would you ridicule people before you investigate that? Is that like your common nature? Man. Do you... I know. That, hey, that's terrific. And if you want to believe everything the establishment tells us about 9-11, Vietnam, and all the other various uh, propagandized news articles, that's fine, man. And the moon landing. You believe the moon landing, too? All right, man. Then I might have a point about Flat Earth. Yeah, I know, right? If only. You can join the chat, man. I got I got chatters here that'd love to talk to you. No, you good? Yeah. Hey, hey, you your belief. God bless you. Oh, it's it's just observations and investigation. Do you believe we landed on the moon? You believe that this the moon's a physical object that can be landed on? Because God told you? Show me where it says that in scripture, sir. Hey man, you brought up the Bible, not me, man, and I can show you in the Bible that it's just a light in the sky, and the moon isn't a physical object to be landed on. If you were as humble as your outfit, man, you and I could have a conversation. All you gotta do drugs to be open-minded and have truth? 
that's your excuse for your willful ignorance is I do drugs. Yeah, it's called truth drug. It's called a red pill. Yes, sir, I'll take that red pill. Thank you. Hey, what's going on? I just need some wisdom. You guys got some wisdom? What do you wisdom mean? Yeah, wisdom means you got some knowledge that I am not privy to. Okay, I got you. Look, All right, so about the, ball, about the ball earth. About the what? Ball earth. I believe the earth is flat. Could you give me some wisdom that we live on a ball in outer space? No, we live on a flat because, like, the earth don't go, like, if we was in a plane and we would go this way, it, like we don't go upside down, so right. I, it don't, hey. the earth don't turn all the way around. It's flat, and then it keeps going. Like it's, it's not a big picture of the earth. Uh huh. Okay, I see where you're coming from. Hey, I got a, a DVD here for you with some information on it. <laughs> yeah, it talks about the earth being flat. Right. And uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Yep, yeah, I got a YouTube channel. I'm live right now, man. Yeah. Hey, right on. For real. Hey, if you got me this fall, ask your teachers the earth flat. All right, yeah, see see if you don't get kicked out. <laughs> he was woke. Those two were woke. He said that if the earth was a ball, you'd have to tilt the nose of the airplane around the ball. How do you like that? He, he actually gave me some knowledge. How do you like that? They are. Kids are dope. Boom. You're, I'm eating your grapes, bro. All right, so that was good. That was a good little smoke break. How you guys doing? Terrific. No, they're not fully indoctrinated yet, but we still have time to save them, to go back for them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was good. Worried about North Korea. Oh no, not North Korea. I'm not worried about North Korea because I saw a South Park episode about it and wasn't all that threatening. And then I saw Team America and North Korea wasn't all that threatening. So, nope. Everybody that's overseas, they're all puppets. Literally. That's what I saw on Team America. It definitely is Flat Earth Accord. Fear porn. And people believe it too. You know, like military man back there. I saw a comment while I was talking to him that the military... Probably those people are the hardest to convince. Unless they already know the Earth is flat, you're not going to convince them that it is. They are totally into the ball earth. They love it. Let's see if we can't... Just hold my sign here. Please help me. Please, please, please. And you got this kid over here holding a sign. <laughs> he's on his phone red car here maybe he's looking up perspective on a flat earth hey 95 George uh, one second I'll, I'll show you once these cars pass alright got this guy here I'm a flat earther please help me any wisdom to impart, my good sir. And then on the other side, I haven't held this too much. Welcome to the game, the oceans are flat and level. Kaboom. Have you ever flat smacked a cop? Druminati? Yes, I have. When I was at the soccer game, Mexico versus uh, Minnesota soccer team. Check that out. I did. At the end, probably like the last 30 minutes, I came across a handful of coppers, and one of them took my paraphernalia. He probably doesn't have a job anymore, but that's all right.
he's woke now. Any opportunity that I do have to talk to the establishment's representatives, I do it. Because it's fun. Gets a good laugh. The cops are usually somewhat kind because, I mean, I'm, I'm carrying, you know, what am I, okay, I'm doing this. You know, I'm carrying this sign. So usually they see signs where people are peddling for money. And so when a cop sees that, you're talking about, yeah, right, Paul White? It's easy to co oh, uh, with cops, just tell them to investigate, right? Charlie Kelly, I walked into a Dunkin' Donuts the other day and got promptly BF on the counter, 8, 10, we'll be going back. Thanks, Charlie. I don't even like Dunkin' Donuts. They don't even have very good coffee, donuts. Going to a Krispy Kreme. Minnesota is one of the only states in the country that had a Krispy Kreme and nobody went to it. We don't have any Krispy Kremes anymore. Brandon Esteban, ask a police officer why they don't arrest NASA and do their job. We pay his wage. Amen. This is actually a good flat earth show for large screens. Hey, thanks. Yeah, we try to keep it fresh, highest resolution possible. First rule of problems, if you run at 380 or 360 or 480p, the millennials can't stand that resolution because it's not 4K and they lose their S all over the place. It is it is a beautiful night right now. Probably low 70s at the moment. About 22, 24 degrees for my Celsius prescribers. Hey, how's it going guys? Hey, terrific. Just, uh... Are you propagating? I am propagating uh, knowledge, yeah. What right do you think? On, yeah, right on, man. Hey, you guys got a, like a DVD player and all that? No? What do you think about the Earth being flat, though? It's a possibility, yeah? All right, well, have a good one. What about a sign that says, want to be on YouTube? And then flip it over, the Earth is flat. <laughs> Flat Earth Accord says New England Dunkin' Donuts are awesome. In Santa, Par Santa Barbara, where I live, the one Dunkin' Donuts we have is awful. That sounds about right. If it's America, it usually is. Mike S. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hidden that not shall not be known. JFK, right? Loco Tomo. I have you on the big screen TV for the fam to watch this with me and my wife says hello and thanks for all the good info. Hey, I appreciate you and all that you do for the community and hello wifey. Hope you guys are enjoying your night on this Friday, August 11, 2017. We are hanging out in front of the XL Energy Center while the Minnesota Lynx are destroying the LA Spark, something to something, where we have What's Your Face, this girl with the face, and Jane Doe hooping it up with their fake rig basketball. You should make it a game show for them answering questions, yeah? Make it a game show. All right. Still waiting for this uh, establishment to turn all the lights on and then all the sheep scatter to their homes.
So I hope everybody is doing well today. You've seen YouTubers do 21 questions, okay. It's hard because some of these people just, you know, want to keep walking and... We never know what we're gonna get, you know. Never know what we're gonna get because we are live, so I thank everybody for hanging out during this during this live unscripted broadcast. Hey Conham, thank you. Shout out to the host. I am Joshua Swift. We are Authentic Intent. Right outside of the XL Energy Center, downtown St. Paul. I got about another 40 minutes or so to go. Oh yeah, I'll be hitting Lake Calhoun up again here pretty soon. People at Lake Calhoun are a little bit more open to chat, but I'm just here to hit them in the face with the red pill as they go in and out of the stadium. So we don't know really what to expect the last 40 minutes. Hopefully it'll be good. Yeah, that's Lake Harriet. And then Lake Calhoun is about a, not even a mile away. It's pretty much in walking distance. Those are kind of like the connected lake systems that Minneapolis propagates for all the millennials to come hang out and enjoy the Minnesota weather. Because once it becomes winter time here in Minnesota, you just basically get depressed and cabin fever, and you don't, you lose your mind. Oh no! Advanced settings gives us all bad news. 35, 25 sparks. Almost the end of the third quarter. That's a pretty low score to be with the game almost over. Oh. 52, 42 sparks. All right. Well, that's sad days. Maybe everybody will leave depressed and then I give them some good news that they live on a flat, motionless plane. So, well, yeah, okay. So regardless, the Sparks are winning. That sucks. Sad day for everybody. Right? Sad day for everybody. Nobody's smoking. Oh, there is a, there is somebody out here smoking. Let's see if we can't talk to them. Uh, the yeah, part of the eclipse will be here in Minneapolis. I'm not too invested in the eclipse personally. I just don't care for it. I don't think that it proves ball Earth or disproves the flat Earth. You're not really getting anywhere with that with me. So. It is a bunch of confusion. I think that Flat Earthers like talking about it because it's something to talk about and they're all bored. <laughs> I, I That's just my opinion. I just think that Flat Earthers are bored right now and they need something to talk about. And the Eclipse is something to talk about. I personally think that it's l the quote Lilith, dark entity, that is going to block out whatever gets blocked. Because all these times that this happens, it's quote, a new moon, so you can't really tell whether it's the moon or not, so. Oh, s snap. Snack to the future. Lynx were shooting an unsustainable percentage for three just to tie it at half. That's terrible. DMAR, yeah, I, I have seen what Ginger, uh, Ginger Bush, she says, D. Marble explained it very well. Um, hey, I'm not saying that they haven't, that there's not information out there. I just think to have eight hour Google Hangouts about the eclipse every day until the 20th, I just, you know. With uh, the new laptop that I got, I use my time now. I'm, I'm making DVDs now. I'm trying to put information together to hand out to people, you know, instead of giving them movies to maybe go investigate. If you hand them a DVD, they're most likely going to check that out. You can could just call me... Ooh. All right, Ginger.
when you said that, it's kind of like I thought Minnie Mouse was saying that to me. Like, you can just call me Minnie. Oh. All right. This guy's thud right. Thug riding. Uh, Druminati, have you smack, fl flat smacked your mom, dad, bro, sis? Yeah, my sisters and brothers don't talk to me about it. Uh, they actually don't talk to me at all. <laughs> Period. Uh, one of my brothers is kind of conspiratorial on the bit, but he doesn't, like, we don't talk. We don't talk unless I instigate a conversation. Um, when the Australian lady got shot by the police, what was like a month ago here in Minneapolis, I challenged that narrative because the police body armor and the car camera were both off. So I thought that was kind of funny. And she comes out in her nighty and the passenger side cop shoots her while she's on the driver's side. I just didn't believe it, and my mom flipped out on me, and she got all upset. So, basically my whole family thinks I'm nuttier than squirrel turds, and that's alright. Oh boy! Flat Earth Accord says I convinced my mom. Hey, that's awesome, man. Congrats on that. You know, I mean, that's awesome. The Warlock, you guys think the Earth is flat? What? No, we don't. We're just, this is just a big prank. Joke's on you. Ha ha ha. Are you going to live uh, upcoming Eclipse to flat smack Globies? Uh, I might. You know, what I could do is I could probably go down to the University of Minnesota. That week is the first day of classes for the majority of the students here at Gopher Nation. Yeah, Druminati, I concur with that. My mom also shames me for believing that Sandy hoax. My mom says, why can't I talk about normal stuff, right? What, what, what's normal? <laughs> what is considered normal now? How you doing, man? The Kardashians, right? The Cardos. The Cardos. All right. What is an example of something normal? Exacto mundo. That's what I'm saying. Washington Post, Fox News, ESPN, Hollywood movies. Why don't you just watch Hollywood movies like everybody else and believe them, right? What's wrong with you? Well, because. Next. Just setting up my Uber, no, my Lyft. We're doing a Lyft. We're trying Lyft out. Hang on, everybody.
All right. The Kardashians, right? All right, so we got Toyota Corolla showing up. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, I'm terrific. Thanks. Did the Lynx win? No, it's not the fourth quarter. It is. Okay. Everybody's leaving. It's the fourth quarter, I guess, right? Because that's when you leave. All right. Run, 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 run. Hey, Moo, you're back. Can you explain the two rings, Loco Tomo? Yes, I can. So I wear black and white rings on my left hand. Hi, how you doing? Good. On the middle finger is a black ring. That middle finger is for the middle finger to the establishment for lying to us, for their deceit in creating this reality in which we live where we believe all the lies growing up and then it becomes very difficult for us to wake up our friends and family from such lies. How you doing? I'm just letting everybody know the earth is flat and not a ball like we're taught. So when you go back to school this fall, ask your teacher why is the earth flat and not a sphere? Oh, okay, Mew, gotcha. And the left finger has a white ring on it. That left finger is for commitment. You know, like when you get married, you put your wedding ring on your left finger, right? Your left ring finger. And that ring finger is for truth, commitment, honor. How you guys doing? Hey, good. Hey, when you go back to school this fall, ask your teacher about flat earth, okay? All right. See what they have to say. See if they can try to convince you of the ball earth. See how that goes. See how that turns their crank, right? So yeah, I mean, that's why I wear those rings. It's not because I'm part of the establishment. I've never taken any oaths or anything like that. How you guys doing? Hey, good, terrific, thanks. All right. I wear them to mock the establishment, actually, because I'm doing everything the opposite of what they tell us to believe. What a miserable <laughs> Have a good weekend, guys. Investigate Flat Earth. I hope she wasn't saying that I have a miserable existence. That wouldn't be very nice, right? People will sit in their house and they complain about the things that are going wrong in this country and on Earth, and they don't do anything about it. But then when somebody actually does do something about it and informs them about the lies of this reality in which we live, I get called names and I, I'm told that I have a miserable existence. I, won't, I don't want to assume that she was talking about me, but it is coincidental for her to read my sign and then openly say that. So, 
Yeah, exactly. All these people dye their hair, tattoos on their arm, they, you know, cut up their pantyhose and look like a, rebel a rebellious person, and then I tell them that they're flat, they live on a flat earth, and then they call me crazy, right? Funny. Funny how that works. <laughs> it takes, right? What's that? I was laughing at the my patrons on YouTube. Yeah. Talking about flat earth with the public. Nice. Yeah. Have you ever investigated flat earth before? I'm working so I can't talk to you about this. Oh, okay. Well, I can speak openly and say, like, I think people should investigate the earth being flat and not a ball like we're taught in school because we've been lied to. So when you go back to school this fall, ask your teacher about flat earth. See what that does. Challenge the narrative. How about with that, we've been lied to ever since we're four years old to believe we live on a globe. La tierra es plana. She, she looked back. That's what we need. Do they got it? So what? It's funny that from 52 miles from one side of Lake Michigan to another, there's no curvature. Should be 1,800 feet. You shouldn't even be able to see the Willis Tower, but you do. But they do. All right. Let's see here. How's it going, man? Hey, right on. Yeah, Kyrie Irving sent me here. Yeah, Kyrie Irving. You know who Kyrie Irving is, right? Yeah, he's a flat earther. Did you know that? Like, yeah, he believes the earth is flat. Check it out, man. Yeah, yep. It's uh, significantly more important than anything you've ever heard in your life, like the end of a basketball game. Yep. La tierra es plana. La tierra es plana. Check it out. Spark's gonna win. Daniel, you're ruining my night! My gematria! I had all my gematria all set up and you just ruined it for me. How you guys doing? Hey, terrific. Hey, ma'am, how you doing? Terrific. Check out Flat Earth tonight when you guys get home. Yeah, just not a big deal to research something, right? You know, it's a different narrative than what we're taught in school. Hey, you calm down. Dog barking out the window. Peanuts Clark, Josh, you're helping change the world. You're doing a lot more than most people, bro. Hey, appreciate that, Clark. Tip of the cap to you, sir. Hey folks, how you doing? All right. So while we're waiting, I gotta get a get a lift. I uh, did a rookie mistake. I forgot my battery pack at home. Nice job, Swift. So I want to try to do a flat cab on the way home. Ooh, look at that. Your ride has an amp. All right. So we got Volkswagen Jetta Luis. He's got a 4.9 rating. He is coming from some direction. Here comes the Federales. Hey, Flat Earth Accord, I appreciate that. Just trying to uh, spread knowledge and information to the public. We don't know what we're going to get. You know, we always have opportunities to talk to a lot of people. And some days we don't, so. Yep. Hey, fellas, how you doing? How was the game? It was all right, yeah. So were you able to research Flat Earth while you were in there? 
No. You might be able to ignore me, but you're not going to be able to ignore Flat Earth as it becomes more and more popular in this country. The truth about the globe is going down, man. Outer space is fake. CGI. The sun's cold. Huh? Uh, well, actually, the moonlight is cold. More science for me, bro? You got more science? Middle finger, maybe? No? He doesn't have any more science for me. He doesn't have any science for me this time. Trying to figure out where this guy's gonna pick me up at. All right, let's go for a smoke break. I think he's gonna be down here. Madan in the building. Thanks, man, for stopping by. Doesn't know what was that? Let me see that. Doesn't know how to communicate with others. Oh yeah, you know I don't have I don't have any communication skills. How about when you do this for almost 100 to 150 hours and you get mocked and ridiculed the whole time? I'm not going to sit around like a weak, passive sheep and just keep taking it. Okay, I don't know what, where you get off, where you get that idea that I got to sit around and, you know, just accept the beatings. Uh, that's not me, bud. So... Hey bro, do you live in the area? Uh, kind of. Are you, do, are you doing, are you like a vlogger? Yeah. Alright, can I get on and say what's up to you? Yeah, people? what's up man? Are you online right now? Yeah. Alright, uh, I, I was asking a question. I came down to see this Ohio Players Band uh -huh. at the theater. We missed the connection shuttle bus. Would you possibly have like any loose chains like a buck or two? I have, have no cash on me, man. I just, I just don't carry, I don't, yeah, I don't carry right. cash on that's me. Cool, that's cool, yeah. that's cool. I'm a flat earther. What's that about? The earth isn't flat. Uh, Environmental? It, it, yeah, no, the earth isn't a sphere, it's flat. Okay. Yeah, so do you believe that we live on a spinning ball in outer space? No? Do you? No, absolutely not. Yeah, no. I, don't, I think it's bull. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's bull. Cool. So where are you going, are you going up to the protest? Or? No, I, I just walk up and down the street, talk to the public where, about fake your, outer space. Where's your blog at? On, on, on YouTube. YouTube. All right. Yeah. I can, I you got a YouTube channel or something? No, I don't have I, I can find you. Yeah, yeah, I got my own YouTube channel. Okay, right on. I got some DVD. I got a DVD there for you, man. You can check okay. it out and... It's got some information. Appreciate that, my hey, man. Hey, you too, Thank man. You, Take it easy. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Not, yeah, I know, right? Hey, man, I'll shout out people. I'll let people shout out if they want. I will let people... Oh, I see where, okay. Yeah, I mean, well, no, I talked to them earlier. I talked to them earlier when they were going in. So my apologies, I didn't, I didn't see where you were coming at with that. But I saw him coming in and then so I wanted to hit him up again and really lay into him. We got Luis right up here. Volkswagen. La tierra es plana. Got this guy's car right here. Hey, Luis. Hey, Luis. 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 All right, man. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. How about yourself? Right on. Yes, sir. You going to Colonial Square? Yes, sir. Hey. You ever have a car charger for a a new a new phone like a the new uh, what's it called? Not a not a USB, but the other one. So what kind of phone you have? Uh, LG. Yeah, this one. G6. Okay. Appreciate it, man. I guess, can you pass it to me, because it's kind of like connected to all these wires. Oh, sure, yeah. Just... Yeah, sorry, I kind of have it, like, all tied in there. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a newer one. Oh, wow. No, I don't have one, sir. Yeah, hey, that's all right, man. Yeah, it's all right. It's all good. 
How's your night going, man? Not bad. I was just going to ask you the same thing, too. How's your yeah, night going? Yeah, it's going pretty well, man. Thanks. Yes, sir. Yeah. 27 oh. minutes away? Yeah, hey, that's cool, man. Yeah, let's do it. I think the Lynx are going to lose their game tonight. What's that, soccer? Uh, bas WNBA. Oh, basketball. Yeah. You watch soccer? No. No? It sounds like a soccer team. Oh, yeah, it does, right? right? Yeah, the Lynx. The Lynx. Uh, yeah. It sounds like a basketball team. Yeah. Oh, whatever. The uh, Minnesota Lynx uh, women's basketball game, yeah. Oh, I didn't know they were called. For us here in the state. There you go. Yeah. Everybody's, at, everybody's where you need to be at already. Okay, yeah. Especially on Friday night. Oh, right. I know that. So now it'll stop picking up. But I got to go to my regular job tomorrow, so. Okay. I'll probably do this till 10. So you just, oh, okay, you just do this till 10. Yeah, I do like 12 hours a week. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. It's fun. Meet a lot of interesting people, I'm sure. Definitely. That's Learned good. What about the legs. Hey, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. What about, uh, what about the eclipse that's coming up? You know about that eclipse on the 21st? I did not know. No? But didn't something just happen? Where you can see it all across the U.S.? Or yeah, it's going to be, we're going to be able to see a little bit of it here oh, in Minnesota. That, after that, that, oh, I thought it passed already. No. We were talking about it. I thought we were talking about it. It already happened. No, you I got, uh, but you got about 10 days to set up shop for it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be new. I don't, I don't think that any eclipse has been talked about as much as this upcoming one. Yeah, I, well, I, I got some ideas, I guess, but... What are the ideas you know? here? Well, um, there's this really weird idea going out there right now that the Earth is flat. Have you heard about oh, that? Yeah, I've heard about that. Okay, yeah, it's... Yeah. I mean, not recently, but I've heard about that. It's, okay. it's actually a, a group that does that. They have a yeah. website. Yeah, well, they got, there's a bunch of YouTubers out there, though, that do uh, flat Earth stuff. So, yeah. like, it's... Even Ky You know who Kyrie Irving is? Who? Kyrie Irving? No. NBA basketball player? No. Yeah, he, he talks about it. There's B.O.B. rapper. Oh, my God. Talks about it, so... What do you think... What do you think about that, though? That's... Silly. Yeah. I think it's silly. What, uh... What if... Like, I mean, just even... To go down that road, what if the Earth was flat, though? What would... What would even, like, be the point? How would the water not fall? I mean, it makes sense. How, how would you know? How would it work? I mean, it, the only way it could be flat if it was surrounded by earth all along and the water was being contained like that. And that's not the case. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, what if it was though? I mean, what if the earth, what if it was contained though? That would. Why would they lie to us about that? Exactly. You know. I mean, so I guess the only thing that kind of like makes me scratch my head is. I don't... What do you think about the moon landing? The moon landing, you know? I don't know. Sometimes I believe it happened, and sometimes it don't. Yeah? Yeah. I guess that's kind of my thing, is like... I don't believe... I, me, personally, I just don't believe that we landed on the moon, but... Then again, like... If we didn't, then... So what? Then what? Maybe they did it, they, they, you know, they, they, they set the goal... Um, and they didn't want to lose face back in the technology wasn't that great. They can trick the people. Right. Really, no really big harm is being done. Yeah. And they kept their word. Everybody's afraid of us. <laughs> right. You know, they could hit the water. They could go to the moon. <laughs> so you think it was like uh, like a U.S. thing to kind of get people to fall in line with the U.S. type of deal? No, I mean, I really don't know. Oh, like okay. I said, sometimes I believe. Yeah. But my point was that, you know, that if it did happen, it's something that could have been as easily been hit. Maybe there was a reason behind it. It's no really big foul done. Okay, yeah. But to hide, and how could you hide when it's just impossible for the air, Earth to be flat? I mean, you got an equator. You got, you know, pictures of it. I mean, uh -huh. unless every, it's everybody would have to be in conspiracy. All the scientists. All the yeah, maybe. I mean, because, you know, it's, look at all the leaks that are going on now. You know, so that's just that problem. I mean, it's just, it doesn't it's crazy, sense, man. It's crazy. I don't see how it could possibly happen and how it could possibly be. It's crazy. I mean, some of the, like, some of the things, like the pictures that they give us about some of these planets, 
they do, I mean, sometimes they do look kind of cartoony. Some of them kind of look cartoony, and then others, not so much. You know, so it's like, what's really going on? You know? I mean, the only way, I mean, we are in space, floating, right? Being held by gravity, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, the only way it could possibly work if it's a sphere. Okay. Because it's going to rotate on its axis, it's going to maintain its gravity. It's gonna if it was flat, how is this going to, the gravity for the sun just maintain it flat? Yeah. It's going to, it's just, it just, it just don't work. It just, I mean, I'm looking at it real simplistic because it's so easy to, in my mind, to the bunker. Yeah. It, it just wouldn't work and it has to be right like a bowl of water. Mm-hmm. Because on the flat, it could float, but it's not water. We're not in water. We're in air. We're in space. Right. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's like, another one. The, 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 there's a uh, uh, what do you call it? A Middle Earth. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Heard yeah. about that one? Yeah. That the that inside the Earth there's something, and that is a whole bunch of people. Like a there. hollow Earth. A hollow Earth. Hollow Earth. Yeah. yeah. Hollow Earth okay. Theory. Middle Earth. Yeah. Middle Earth. Yeah. That's, the <laughs> That's uh, what yeah. is that? Uh, Lord, Lord of the Rings. Rings. Yeah. <laughs> right. To have the hollow Earth theme. Uh huh. You know? Yeah. That one I might believe more than the flat Earth. Uh huh. You know, but. You well, know. the funny thing that you said about the sun, like. I don't know, I dabble into some of this stuff, I, I don't know, um, but it's like, you got a pizza, and the crust is holding the water in, and the sun is like going around on top of the pizza, you know, so the sun is moving around it instead of the earth, like that's, I mean, it's it's provocative, you know, to think about it like that. No, the sun would be above the pizza, you know? You know what I'm saying? So just like picture a pizza in your head, and then let's say like a uh, you know six inches, eight inches from the cr- from the surface of the pizza, you have you're holding like a light, and so that light is going around from the inside of the crust and kind of just going around it, orbiting inside the pizza kind of deal. Does that make sense? I mean, that's I mean I don't you know. You can say that, but I mean. To me, it's logical. I mean, the, the, the ball, right? And the water and that, you know, but I, I can't picture you making pizza with the with, going over right Okay, because the pizza's flat, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, so, like, if you just held, like, an LED light and just went with that LED light... Yeah, but you, that's not how you make pizza. No, 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 no. I'm just using that as a diagram for the flat earth idea. This is a video that I've seen. So, they have, they have the, the, say the pizza, and then what do they have? It's, and then you have the crust is holding the like you were saying the water is being held in by land, but it's not. And so like the no, but crust no, but is. I think that's what, but it's not being held. Okay. Yeah. Right. I mean, well, I mean, I I'm just I'm investigating myself. You know, no, I'm looking but, at this but, stuff. I mean, I mean, it's a simple. I mean, is it or not? I mean, it's not, right? I, 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 hey, man, you gotta. I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, this is it's it just seems like it's. Uh, no, a lot of people I mean, are doing there's it. A, there's a map of the earth and the continent. And I mean, yeah. it's not made up. I mean, it's not like, it's real. I mean, there's no land. You know, it's all the water in the middle of the land, right? I just, hey, man, I just saw a diagram of it. I was, I just no, kind of. but that's fine. But, yeah. you know, but is it true, though? It, it could be true. It can't be true. But, but, I mean, it has to make sense, you know. But being entertained, if you're like, yeah, you know, that's true. But to use, like, the cheese as water and then the pepperonis as the land, as using that as kind of a means to get a better understanding of what they're trying to say a flat earth is. Yeah, but the cheese is it's also a solid thing. It's not going to... I I know. Water's going to spill away. Cheese isn't. I, I, you know? I know. I see what you're saying, but you you got to use your imagination. No, and but and let's say that the cheese... It's, it's not a debate. It's, not, no? it's, it's either black or white. If okay, you so you can't you, you can't use something. No, if you use your imagination, then you just make stuff up. Okay, so well, let's say a petri dish. Okay. Okay, you got a petri dish, mm-hmm. and you put some rocks in it, like some pebbles in the petri dish. Okay. And then you put like some water in it, so that the water goes up just to the point of the rocks being able to have dry, but then some of the rocks are underwater. So, how about that? Like, the Petri dish, so the water's being held in by the Petri dish, yeah, I mean, I and the rocks would represent the land. And I understand that, but... Okay. But then when you say, okay, let's compare that to reality, just the earth is not encircled in glass or in mountains, and then the water's in the middle. I mean, that's where it falls apart, you know? Okay. So, you... 
because I've never been to outer space, so I don't know what the Earth looks like. You know, so I don't, I don't know. Since I've never been to outer space, I guess I, I can't understand what it would look like, uh, whether it is a sphere, I guess. Because if water is always level, yeah, I mean... But, yeah, but then you can still just... We have space stations, you can see pictures of the Earth. I mean, you know... I mean, it's from the world uh -huh. that the Earth is flat. I mean, uh -huh. what, what would they get out of it? If the Earth is flat, it's freaking flat. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, what, I, if, so what do you think is the motivational fact, motivation for the people that are promoting the flat Earth? What is their end game? What are, what are they trying to prove? Whoa, whoa. So what if the Earth is flat? Then what? Yeah, um, hmm. And again, I'm not trying to be antagonistic. I'm just thinking, no, you know, I don't. I totally hear you. What you're saying, what and there? I think the same thing too. And it's yeah. good to talk to have hear somebody else. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, what's ask these questions. Yeah, so, like, what? so then, okay, it's flat. Now what? Yeah. How about how about the? Uh, you know, it just you know doesn't. So what if it is flat? And it is flat? Yeah. How about this? I mean, I don't know. How about they're like trying to create a narrative of outer space and aliens, and maybe aliens aren't real. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I mean. Now we're gonna get a different subject. I don't, <laughs> well, are you, I don't right? believe in aliens. No, I don't either. But there you go. There but you go. Yeah, I don't so, in but there's a lot of people who do. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 And that's why it's just the beauty of, of at least in America is to kind of disagree. Let's just not be disagreeable. You yeah. Know? So I'm not gonna. If somebody thinks it's aliens, we'll talk about it. But I'm not mad at the person who thinks it's aliens. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's it. Hey. You know, but I used to, I don't think it's. Okay. Yeah. Me, me, like you neither. No. Yeah. I don't. You know? I don't believe that there's aliens either. So. Um, but I mean, it, it is. They do propagate that on Hollywood movies. You know, like outer space travel, Star Trek. You know, for yeah. example. And that's, and that's pretty cool. I, I love Star Trek. One of my favorite shows. Okay. Of all time, I watch Star Trek. You know, on on, uh, on Heroes and Icons. Uh huh. They have the all the shows. Yeah. 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 But I think. I think the entertainment for some people brings them to that next level of yeah, they, they, they think or they hope or yeah they like oh it. we're gonna land on Mars you yeah. know you know and yeah I just that's that's a long that's a that, it is kind of funny though how we landed on the moon in the 60s and we can't go back now with the technology that we have I mean it's yeah no you're, you're absolutely right so, it's kind of weird that's why sometimes I believe that we mm -hmm. did and sometimes we don't <laughs> right. I don't believe it you know yeah you know, and I, I, I don't remember, because I don't take it that, that, that seriously, but sometimes I'll come across something, and it'll prove to me, no, we went to the moon, and then I'll look, I'll, I'll, one day I'll run across something, that'll prove, you know, I don't think we went to the moon. Yeah, right? But again, if we did or didn't, yeah. is it that big of a deal? It is, it is funny how they, like, some of these videos I've seen, they show, like, the astronauts on the moon, like, falling down and then getting picked up by, as if they are harnessed. Here? Yeah, yeah. No, you can stay here. This is cool. Yeah. Yeah, and also uh, the you know, the picture where the the flag is waving. Right. And there's no air. Uh huh. You know, and then those are the pictures. You know, that, you know, like, hmm. like, and at the end when they leave the moon, who's watching? Who's using the camera on the moon as it goes up? Like, how do they have a tripod set up to like watch the moon land, the lunar module leave? Like, cause it pans up. You know, like it's panning up as if somebody's taking a picture of it, but. They didn't leave anybody behind. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just really... Yeah, you see, right, 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 exactly. You know? So that's why sometimes I believe it, and then sometimes I don't. But then right. I, the day I go, you know, they probably did it for some reason to spook Russia or scare, you know? Mm -hmm. Who knows? You know what happened? Like, oh, my God, let me listen to Okay. Wow. You know? Mm -hmm. And again, I don't think no big foul done if it was done, you know, for to elevate the mood of the country or whatever it was for, you know, trick of the countries. Who knows? You know, well, if it, if it didn't happen, they tricked somebody. <laughs> you know? If like, it didn't happen, then yeah. they tricked everybody. They tricked right? everybody, yeah. yeah. But again, it happened, when it happened in the 60s? 69. 69, yeah. so that's what, 30, 40 years ago? So yeah, that's a long time. Women go back and get mad at all those people. I mean, it's over. Right. It's over with. And again, nothing negative happened like in the sense that you know all of a sudden there's disease or or people 
or forced to pay a tax or you know yeah right like it was done for evil you know then because of that we're gonna go again and now everybody has to give us 10% because if we don't we're gonna <laughs> yeah. die because the earth was gonna finish in 40 years uh, yeah, you know right. it wasn't nothing light you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so that's why hey I think uh, the US is the greatest country on the face of the earth ever but is it perfect has, has it Heck ever no. had any transgressions right. or done bad things Heck no no well, I've always said, I've always, I've always joked about this with America. If we did land on the moon, we'd have a Starbucks on it by now, right? <laughs> Funny, I like that. You know, I mean, yeah. we put, we supplant our, you know, corporations everywhere. Exactly. You know, so if we landed on the moon, we'd have a McDonald's on it or a Walmart yeah. on it by now. Like between the flat Earth and the hollow Earth and the aliens and the moon, the one I would maybe think, you know, the moon. I don't think, you know, that's the one I would probably would go towards. Uh-huh. Like, you know, out of all of those, you most likely yeah. didn't on the moon. Didn't do it. If, if, you know, out of those, because you can see it, but you see how you can logically think it through, you know? Mm-hmm. You see the pictures, why didn't we go back, you know? No one really talks about it again, no more, it's over, you know? Yep. It's it's logical. You know? like, suppose this. Right. If you can suppose, like, the climate change. Yeah. First, Right. And now what they're saying, oh, it's all climate change. That's it's why. everything. So it's every, so <laughs> it's a smorgasbord. Exactly. So it's just being you know? done to, you know, now you, now we Or now, chemtrails. Exactly. You know about chemtrails, yeah. you know? Yep, yep, yep. Chemtrails. Vaccines. Yep, exactly. You know, and the, and, and, cell phone towers. Cell phone towers, but they did new harm to So, them. yeah, they, uh, well, they say that they emit, like, microwave... EMF, low frequency waves and yeah. whatnot. So I mean, you know, yeah. you yeah, can go down. You know, I can maybe believe, you know, the, the, the towers doing this. You know, these are things that you can maybe logically deduce. You yeah. know, and say, you know, that's possible. But why are they doing it? Blah blah blah. The Florida water, <coughs> yeah. the vaccines, just you know, cases against it and pro. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's it's just you know, <coughs> you, can, you can debate in my mind. Yeah. You know, Yes, there's data on either side. That's illogical, you know, not imaginative. There's studies that have been made, you know. Right. And hopefully, like that cell phone tower right there, to the right, you know, I mean, that's what they're, they they say that that's, they're everywhere. And like the 5G, the 5G that's coming out, Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be even more. And why are they doing it? Because they want to hurt humans? Uh, That's what they say, yeah. It, uh, it, it emits... Radioactive and microwave vibrations now, to change a person's DNA. Now, if you were to believe that, now, if you, if you were to believe that, and I'm not saying I'm not going against it. Sure, no, to, yeah, if you totally. Were to believe that, that means that, I mean, let's say the rich people think, or the real powerful people think that there's too many people on Earth, yeah, and you got to cut down the population because in 40 years we're going to run out of food or water, and that argument has been made, you know, 40 years ago. Yeah, and, and, and then it happens. But let's say that's the case. So then the people, the the rich evil people or the powerful people are trying to do that. Mm-hmm. So that means that everywhere. So how are they hiding from it? How are they protecting? I mean, did I use a cell phone there? They're, well, they're walking around with tinfoil hats, <laughs> right? <laughs> you are know? they really? No. <laughs> they got tinfoil clothing. Maybe. You know. Yeah. You know, but then you see what they like. Yeah. Is that really possible? I don't know. So, so that's how maybe I can, you know, again, really. So then. They're trying to kill everyone. And on top of that, they're trying to kill everybody super slowly. Yeah. Know, because it's not going to, you know. With GMOs, you know. With, with GMOs. Right. Super slowly. Mm-hmm. You know, so then. And, and don't be long dead and gone before the effects of the GMOs. So they're worried about their, they're worried about their grandkids. Grandkids? Right. Think so people that like that worried about the now and about themselves. You we'll, know? Be, we'll be here for, you know. Another two hundred years before we start seeing effects, and then, and then you know and exactly. And then you think the people that are doing that want to see the effects in two hundred years? No, they want to see it once now. Yeah, they, you they're not going to benefit anybody. Okay. You know, so can you see how can we? Then that's bullshit. Yes. Yeah, I see. I see where you're coming from, man. It's good to hear another right? perspective. Yeah, you know? I, mean, I might be wrong, but so. I try to because you can't drive yourself bad and you can't go crazy. Yeah. About every single thing, you, you can't have a life. You right. Know? Exactly. You, well, you can't. You yeah, can't go to a sporting event and hold a sign and try to tell people what's up, you know, like, no, that's I mean, weird, I would that's crazy. I really thought that it was true. Right. You know, anything that's true, and I, you know, but... Hey, you drive well, yourself nuts, you know, and, you drive know. yourself nuts, and I mean, but, you know, if you drive yourself nuts and you show up, you know, at the state capitol, holding a sign, and you're walking around inside, and you're trying to let people know, 
about what's going on. I mean, it, that's could that be labeled as crazy? You know? Yeah. Exactly. So right. So yeah. I don't know. It's a crazy world, Lewis. You know. So, yeah. I mean, it's it really is. You know. But what's your what's your what's your full time job? What do you do there? Oh, well, I'm in sales. Oh, you are okay. That's what sales is about. Sales is about, you know, solving problems, being creative. Yeah. And communication. Like I had a lady today. Uh -huh. She was actually, like, when I go, I sell to stores. I work for a distributorship. Okay. So I had uh, uh, the owners, uh, not the one, uh, but the, uh, I think the manager. Yeah, she was the manager. She was the manager. And she was like, okay, we have a new bedroom, blah, 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 blah. And she says, do they have the, the sticks in the middle that go across? Yeah. And I go, oh, yes, it does. But I don't like it. And I'm like, all the bedroom says no, not all of them. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're right. The only ones that don't have sticks in the middle, what's wrong with sticks? Or oh, they break easy, this and that. Yeah, but the 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 matches in the box don't wrestle with sticks. The sticks are just things that give a spine. Okay. The rails actually have like little lips on them, and that's where the box goes. Sure. Yeah, but they're gonna break. Okay. Then, I, then I'm thinking. So, but what are you like? What are you trying to sell, though? Like, what? No, I was trying to sell it's a bedroom set. A bedroom set. Okay. Yeah. So, so you like do customer service on the phone or in person? Or? No, I, I work for the distribution. I sell two stores. I wholesale. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. You're a wholesaler and you sell two yeah. stores, like home, home furniture or and something like that. Big one, maybe smaller stores. Oh, okay. So then, I think to myself, I have to think of my quick, on my feet fast. How can I logically? Proof to her that she's wrong without disrespecting her, and you know, because then you're gonna lose, you know. Yeah. And I started, well, you know, I'm not, you know, then I told her, I said that at the end, I told her, okay, let's let's do this. I'm a this and I'm not trying to be funny, man. But just this idea. These are the rails, right? Yep. Okay, cool. And you know they have lips on them, right? Yep, they do. And all the weight goes on them. Yeah, that's how I want it. I want it like that. So then, like this, the bed is fine, right? Uh huh. And she goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know, you know what's coming next, right? Yeah. So then, the two little sticks are not going to do any harm. Then, you know, it, it really is most fine, and I'm, and I'm not trying to win the argument. <laughs> but, you know, but if the bed is fine without them, that's just like actual. Yeah. They're not really doing anything. I can't just give it a spine because some, you know, some customers, they bump stuff, but they go clean it, and I said, and they crack the rails. Sure. To prevent that from happening, that holds it back. So, as you went, huh. Yeah, that's just but I had to think that way and logically, you know. Well, she to... probably had customers that broke those sticks. And yeah. Stuff, but then they all really come with that, you know. And then and then I saw the the banger, the the hit the glass. Oh, and by the way, they're metal. Oh no, if they're metal, then they're fine. Then. <laughs> and I did it to, so she could what? Save face. I you know, gotcha. So I had to see. You know, so I'm trained. I'm, I naturally do that. I do this all the time. But I kind of have to like have ammunition when you go to war. You know, let's say you go to fight with somebody. Okay, we punch. Yeah. Yeah. You're beating me. Let me get my stick out. Man, I'm about to die. Let me get the gun out. So. You go to war when, you, when you're talking, you don't shoot all your ammunition at first. You did because you might want to just overcome it with something, you know, easy. Yeah, okay, I but see you. You, you know, but and, and that's how you got to think like chess. Yeah. And you got to think. A couple steps ahead, if I say this, I'm, Exactly. So if I say this, she's going to say this. If I say this, she's going to say that. If she's going to say this, I'll say that. She'll feel good. Okay, here I go. Yeah, yeah. and it's always trying to be respectful. Of and, course. You know, keep a conversation feeling uh, positive. Exactly. You know, you know and it's yeah. kind of hard when somebody is completely irrational. You know? Hey, yeah, I, I hear you, know, you about irrational, man. you can't man. say that. Yeah. So you have to... You yeah, react. you can't say verbatim, you're being irrational. I right can't be like, you're being you're wrong. <clears throat> Think about it. You're wrong. What are you talking about? Come right. on. You, what, you, what happened? You know, you're going to lose. Yep. So at the end, she bought them. And she was fine. And she saved face. And I said, I saved the metal part for last. And, yeah. 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 So I think life is all about sales. Yeah, all, there is a lot of... Yeah. yeah, there is a lot of that, too. Life and communication and how you... Especially if you have a view, particular viewpoint, you know, yeah. and you're trying to convince somebody, you know, or you're trying to conversate with somebody, and you always got to walk away respecting each other's opinions. Yeah, you know? of course. I mean, and that's the, and that's why I think it's kind of bad, like politically wise, you know, because, you know, that everybody like if you're not on my side, yeah, if you don't believe in in marriage, or if you don't believe in in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, you know in homosexuality. If you, you're, then, if you don't believe in it, then you're evil and I hate you. Again. So, uh -huh. what about tolerance? Yeah. You want people to tolerate your way of life? Well, take marriage, it right here. Take care? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. You know, whether it's, whether it's a viewpoint on flat earth, or the viewpoint on marriage, yep. or, you know, you want me to be tolerant, but you can't be tolerant to my view. Right. 
Yeah. You should not go to left or right. Take a left here. Yeah. yeah. You know, so that's the same thing, you know? Which is hilarious that people... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can have my opinion. Yeah. I don't hate you. You can live your real life, but just because I don't agree with you doesn't mean that you should hate me or I hate you. Yeah. You know? I think that I, I, from uh, what I've noticed, people... People are more acceptable of other people's opinions, and um, it's good to be able to listen to other people and how they communicate their ideas and their thoughts. Yeah. But you don't always have to agree with everybody, you know, because no. your experiences and history are different from and I'm mine. I'm just using those things as examples. I yeah. love everyone. I don't care. You know, what I'm saying I'm yeah. using examples that we're in such a, a polarized world now that right a, a lot of people, if you're not on my side, you're the enemy. Yeah. No, we're all Americans. We're right. in this freaking together. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Our house divided falls. Yep. We're not all going to agree <laughs> all the time, but we can't hate each other, you know? No. You no, know? we can't. And it's great. It's great to... I think my GPS froze. Oh, yeah, I think it did, too. Oh. Take a left up here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm sorry about that. No, you're good, man. Wow. Take a left into this parking lot here by the TCF sign. Yeah. yeah yes, sir. Maps isn't responding. <laughs> Okay. <coughs> and then that, that white car there to okay. the left here, yep. Oh, nice Honda. Hey, thanks, man. Nice yeah, time. so speaking of, of of that, I do. I got a DVD, and I got some of my own thoughts and whatnot on there. Oh, man. wonderful, so cool. I appreciate yeah. all your Yeah, I'm definitely open to ideas. different things and ideas. Definitely. Yeah. Have a wonderful night. Hey, yeah, you too, man. Yes, sir. And drive safe out there. Hope you... I'll, I'll be going home soon. Oh, okay. Because then all the crazies come out, you know. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> it's Friday night, right? <laughs> so. It's Friday night. <laughs> Friday night. And is it a full moon? Uh, I think a full moon is a couple days ago, but, you know, you yeah, never know, man. Yeah. All right, Luis. Take care, sir. Stay up, man. Take care. All right, Luis. Hope your night goes well. Hope your the information I gave you is provocative and gets you more informed about the world in which we live. So I figured I'd come at you differently. You know, usually I talk like I am a flat earther, but I figured I'd want to come at him in a different manner and kind of see his thoughts, hear what he had to say first, instead of hitting him with flat earth, because Luis, you're going to go home and you're going to watch those videos and you're going to find out the truth about what I think is this reality. So. Well, I, uh, let's see here. All right, guys. I think today went well. I was good. I had to leave. Thankfully, my battery didn't die. I had 2% when I just plugged it in right now. So I did have to cut the uh, hordes of sheep coming out of the Excel Energy Center, so I couldn't do any PSAs. But I really wanted to have a conversation with an Uber driver or a Lyft driver on the way home. And that's awesome that we were able to do it. Uh, thanks, Pharrell. Yeah, I just, I want to kind of engage in conversation differently each time. You know, I don't want to go full baby, heads out, you know, Grab them by the grab them by the throat and try to tell them I'm a flat earther. I kind of went at it a different way. I felt this uh, was a different approach. So I appreciate everybody's uh, watching. I saw you know a whole bunch of chat going on. I I really wish I would have been able to see what y'all said, but I had my screen at the lowest brightness so I could see what was going on. But I see Tommy Lee in the house. Good to see you, drummer seventy seven. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, I do have kind of a, you know, I mean, uh, uh, I kind of have a, a GoFundMe page set up for a car, right? To, It's kind of a joke, it's kind of serious, but it is still part of the channel. So the GoFundMe page for the channel is really for everything, like DVDs, so I can burn DVDs, um, DVD software, just everything that can go to the channel so I can create material for people and uh, do
do it like Taxi Cab Confessions on HBO, right? The car that I have is a two-door, 2000, and Uber and Lyft qualifications, you have to have a later model and it has to be four-door. So I don't have the funds or the car for that. Morgan Ellis, I don't need a shout-out. Morgan Ellis, shout out! What's up? <coughs> uh, Joey, hey, good to see you. Just trying to say hello to everybody before I take off here. I'm going to go over to the grocery store here real quick and get some grub for tonight. Uh, I might be on later with Uni Rock. He was on earlier tonight. Him and I am uh, going to try to do a, a live Google Hangout, so I don't want to get you guys... <laughs> uh, too much of authentic intent kind of give you an hour or so to break off and break bread with somebody get some food and come back uh, Ace McLeod I saw what you said earlier um, back in my hate Ashbury days uh, maybe maybe we could uh, Alex well I like to hear other people's viewpoints and I went at that conversation differently than I usually do so I wanted to hear what he actually thought about the idea of the earth being flat. So, but yeah, what's up Ace McLeod? Good to see you in the house. Uh, Steven Atomic, tell him to take you to the curve, right? <laughs> take you to the edge of the earth, man. So I'm sorry. Thank you. Good to see you. Uh, me as well. Hey, Pharrell, I appreciate that. He's very impressive and brilliant humanitarian. I respect his work very much and always root for him when he's getting into it. I appreciate that. Tell him that you've seen the math that proves the sun is powered by unicorns from Eden. Uh, well, I hope the DVD will help inform him about that. Uh, Joy, still in the house. Good to see you. Flat of Commando. Thanks a lot. Chris Topher, exactly, everyone learns at their own pace. Yeah, definitely, just got to allow people to get to that point and just see where it leads them. You know, I'm, I'm doing the DVD thing. I'm, I'm going to try to get some more DVD uh, propaganda together. I'd like to get some, like, chemtrails. If, if you guys have any, like, particular favorite, like, chemtrail or flat earth proofs separate from the mainstream flat earthers, just... Just proofs like perspective, you know, or somebody taking a video camera about the uh, Chicago skyline, stuff like that. If you can send me pictures or proofs, I'd love to put your stuff on the DVDs so I can hand them to people. Because I think a lot of people, they, they probably don't go to my stream, and if they do, they don't go down to the description section and click those links that are below right now. I think that they just might go to my channel, check out the video, and then be off. Um, finding the Curve. Yeah, I could put some of the Finding the Curve stuff on a DVD. I thought about that. So, yeah, so check out my email. It's down below in the description section. It is fullbatteryobsessed at gmail.com. I didn't have a full battery today. That's why I had to leave a little bit earlier than I wanted to so I could still get in a flat cab before my battery died. So we are uh, successful on that. So send me your favorite um, proofs for Flat Earth, chemtrail, EMF, cell phone tower videos, vaccines. I have Vaxxed on DVD. Um, I was able to download that before they took it completely off of YouTube. Uh, yeah, your favorite fluoride one. Uh, here's a good one. Sun and moon are out at 2 p.m. Why? Don't you see less at midnight when the sun and moon and earth are all under you with all that gravity, right? Well, again, hey, Ace McLeod, how about this? The average cloud weighs 1.1 million pounds. How is gravity keeping clouds up in the air? So, yeah, I'd love to do some pictures, some memes, yeah, about different topics. I'll do that. I'll throw those on the DVD, too. So, the DVDs that I was handing out today, everybody, were my best of video. 
and some compilations from NASA, the perspective videos, and I had something else in there. Um, the video of the Chicago Skyline newscast was on there too. Uh, ODD let me mirror all meat and no potatoes and added a Neil Young song in the background and got a copyright strike. But you can copy mine. All right, Ginger. Hey, Donald Putnam. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna head off. I'm gonna run over to this grocery store real quick. I just got back, and then I gotta go home and set up. I'm supposed to be doing a live stream with Unirock. So him and I will talk about some conspiracies later, probably in about an hour and a half or so, two hours. But I really appreciate everybody stopping by and hanging out today. I really, really do. You guys are one of the reasons why I come out and I do this, because of your encouragement and your positive responses to this. So, Teddy C., good to see you. Uh, Bill Hicks, hey, look at that. So... Yeah, I know. Stop being proactive. Sorry, man. I gotta do it. You're not doing your job anymore there, Bill Hicks. I mean, Alex Jones. I mean, Bill Hicks. So, I'm gonna run to the store, and I'm gonna go home and get ready for this live stream. So, Jordan Hicks, one love. Alex, good to see ya. Hope to see you all on the next episode of Authentic Intent. Morgan Ellis, good night.